So hopefully that'll pop up there, and I'm gonna try to put it on the old iPad to see if that actually works. Who knows? It never does. Instead of trying to run it at the extra stream through the, uh, the extra stream. That was, that was not my favorite thing that I've done, where it crashed just last week. Oh, yeah. I really want to get to the box up, to the box live. Live you. I need to get like a sweet skull helmet. <laughs> <laughs> like a cool like um like elk skull helmet or something. There you go. Actually, if you get a material called Warbla, it makes <laughs> things really easy. Oh yeah, no, I cosplay, so Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't some... worked with Warbla, but I've worked with like Eva Foam and a bunch of stuff. Some great okay. cosplays. Me? Yeah, man. Oh, thank you. Some I haven't actively stuff. cosplayed in years. I really want to get back into it. And the first attempt I'm going to do is latex patty or like using latex clay and creating Symmetra's dragon skin. Nice, that'd be sweet. Yeah, we just did. Um, me and my fiance just did um, Android seventeen and eighteen, and that turned out really cool. Nice. It's really good. I, you can scroll up and find the pictures in the games thing if you go looking for it. All right, so we have our last. Oh, there's Pew Bear. Hey, he's coming in. All right. Um, I saw you posted a summary, but did anyone want Speaking to? Of, did anybody want to try it. and? Run a su run a summary that who did it last time? Yes, uh, I did it last time. I also have a typed up summary if someone needs something to read off of and wants to do it. Awesome. Does anyone else want to give it a try? I mean, if not, then you can go ahead and do it. But Sid, um. I don't know. I always try to feel like I try to give other people a chance to talk because I talk a lot. So I'm asking for somebody who didn't do it last time, and the person who volunteered last time was the last one who uh, gave the rundown. So, well, you so she typed it up, right? Yes, I did. Do you need me to yeah. copy and paste that over? No, I I see it. Okay. Last time in Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> right? <laughs> If only All we right. could use audio from other stuff so we could do that. Da 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 yeah, da right. da. Would that get copyrighted? Like oh, uh, in a heartbeat. Like the the Dragon Ball Z intro music. Yeah, it'd be really lame, and it would totally happen. Hmm. What if we just like pitch shift it slightly? Maybe not then. I'll be honest. <laughs> with, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like. Oh, but um, what did we do? We did the one time. Chris put up uh, Star Wars, our playthrough in Battlefront, and lo and behold, it got taken down for copyright yep. against who? Uh, John Williams. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, so last time on Dragon D and D, I don't know. <laughs> tried to come up with something clever there. Um. Uh. So we are in. Um. Fandolin? Is that right? Fandolin. I believe so. Fandolin. Fandolin. That's right. So we are in the town of Fandolin. Um, we stopped at Barthen's Provisions and we gave him his shipments. Uh, we learned about um, the Red Brands uh, who hang out in the Sleeping Giant, which is a tap room. Um, we also learned that the Black Spider, somebody named the Black Spider, is um, supposedly behind the Goblin Raids. Um, we met, uh, Lene, Lene, how do you say her name? Uh, Le I don't Lene, know. Lene, Lene, Raven, Lene. um, yeah, at the, at the Lion Shield Coster, um, she was kind of like the owner or the shopkeep there. We gave her back her weapons and she was pretty stoked about that. Um, got some gold out of that. Um, 
Harbin is the town master. Um, he, I, he wants us to go fight these orcs um, that are out on the road. He also was very fearful of the red brands um, and asked us not to interfere with them, which is a, I, I found personally a little suspicious. Um, but also I understand uh, that he probably doesn't want to have retaliation. Um, Miners Exchange, this person was dope. So her name was Halia, and she was a shop owner. Um, she has a ton of information, very obviously has her ear to the ground, um, knows kind of what's going on in town and, and who what's important. Um, she was the one that kind of gave us the information about the Red Brands hiring the goblins, and I think his name was Glass Staff, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. She, yeah. She heard that he's the yeah. guy in charge. Yeah. So she said that he was in charge of the Red Brands, but that they had never seen him. She's never seen him before, so we we didn't really get a description or anything like that. Um, they operate out of an old rundown manor at the top of the hill in town. Um, we learned about the the head wizard um, Herda uh, hasn't been seen since the red brands have shown up um, so that was that was a bit of a uh, bit interesting um, and she also wants to reward us if we can find any sort of ties to glass staff and the raids of the goblins um, we met the shop owner um, which me and Sparkle Gem are currently at the inn. Uh, we had gotten a room, um, talked to them a little bit about the Red Brands. Uh, Jerk has gone and decided to try to get some information from the Red Brands. Um, almost, I feel like probably almost got himself killed and got really lucky. Rolled a nat <laughs> 20, and now they all like him, at least for now. Um, and yeah, I think that's about kind of where we left off. Oh, and Piver and um, Godwald like went to hang out with their mom. Yeah, they went to visit mom. So they're kind of off so somewhere happy else. To see mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she. Uh... Oh wait, he's back. I heard him. He, I think he's maybe pushed to talk or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently pushed to talk. So uh, yeah, I apologize if you guys don't hear me right away. That is okay. I was going to ask if you wanted to do a quick summary about what happened when you went to go visit mom. Uh, long story short, we um, we met the priestess of luck. I got a, I got a fancy coin and uh, found out that mom's doing okay. This is good. Um, she offered to, you know, me and Godwald, uh, I guess, have our old college rooms. <laughs> and then our friends are welcome to stay in the, you know, they, they might have to sleep on the floor, but we're going to go look for them, find out if uh, everyone's okay there. Yeah. So there was some luck there. I know um, Godwald's not, or yeah, Godwald, I remembered it this time, is not with us today. Um, I was wondering, I was looking for a volunteer who might uh, run the cleric's sheet if we got into combat of any kind. If anybody might do that. And if not, I'll, I'll do it, but that, you know, I'm slow in the brain, so I could use the help. Um, I don't want to do that. I feel like our characters are very different. <laughs> I don't feel like I could roleplay his character correctly in any way. Okay. Jerk's got a shaking head no. Uh, Hubert, any interest? I feel like... And if I feel not, like be... if that's, that's okay. I'll just basically play him as hanging out in the back. He's not going to say much anything. And uh, maybe, I feel like maybe it would I be use fair. a cleric superpower to, to heal you or something. Yeah, I feel like it'd be. I feel like if one of us is missing, it would be most fair for you to be kind of like universal sub in like NPC. I, I think yeah. in the future, uh, I'll, I'll try it again. Um, but we like could when I did that. like Sildar being the, like his movements and stuff, it was a lot for me mm -hmm. to like do, but I'll, I'll try it again here. If we, if I can do okay, then cool. And if not, I'll probably, we'll probably just try and find some excuse why people are not around. Right. Like, well, what, what we could oh, he do. He stayed back at the end. He's not feeling well. 
And so you guys all move um, on without them, right? What uh, what we could do, um, something that I've seen with, with some D&D shows that I've watched, um, and something that could also help with uh, like viewer participation is when we have an NPC that we know we're going to have around for a while, yeah. we could invite somebody to be that NPC you know, like maybe a viewer if they'd want to join in or like a, a friend or something that that maybe would want to join in but can't commit yeah. to like a full campaign. Um, campaign. Yeah, I like that. I'm I'm cool with having having friends yeah. swing by and stop by. I mean, we're going to like they short can. notice this time. So, yeah, no, I mean, obviously not right now, but okay. um, well, then you guys yeah. then you guys have a, a generally friendly cleric of Bahamut who is following you around and unless you ask him anything in particular or anyone does he's probably just going to stop pretty, pretty passive this time my growth wants to say hi <laughs> hello uh, hello small child <laughs> uh so picking up from where the talisman left off also for the volunteering for the for the recap i i've been uh rolling that as how people get their inspiration so um talison if you if you refresh your inspiration this week for giving us the recap oh hey cool yeah um since so it's, it's your like free advantage on a i appreciate attack, that attack ability checks i appreciate the I, recap i think what we left off um kind of with jerk still in the uh tavern with them yeah, he was in the tavern. We actually came back to, we kind of did it back in order. Uh, you guys, we went back to Godwald and Pubert. They wrapped up with their mom, said, hey, we're going to go see what our friends do, offer out the place, and they met you guys here in the tavern. So we've got oh, that's right. okay. Sparkle Gem, Talison, and Pubert, and Godwald in the tavern, and you shared your information. Last thing we said, I think, is everybody shared what they knew, what they learned, mm -hmm. so that you guys all kind of had a collective info. And then this is where you're at. So, please go for it. Tell me what you what are you guys doing now? Well, I am partying like never before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I had thought I. I think we were kind of deciding like maybe we should like go check what, on go sure. check on him because he'd been gone for a while. <laughs> I like, do kind of. I think me, me and Sparkle Gem at least knew where he was going, so right. we understood, like... We should probably go and at yeah. least make sure he's okay, because we are talking about Jerk being a scout. Mm -hmm. so I think that was the plan. Um, uh. Uh, so, I yeah, so I want to go check on him. Um, I think they're they're all inside the tavern currently, right? Yeah, we've got Sparkle Jim, Hubert, Godwald, and Talos. No, I mean everybody's here. Or these people. Jerk, all okay. the red all the red brands went inside, right? There's none of them that would like that No, we're a comment. Inside. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't know that, but So I don't So if you approach if you approach just... if you approach the tavern, yeah, you're probably gonna find there's nobody on the outside. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's. I would say, uh, has has anybody heard from Jerk or did he didn't tell us when if what his plan was other than just to go? We should probably we should definitely we should go check, check on, on, him. on him. I agree. I'm sure you've noticed Jerk kind of he likes to cause a lot of trouble for himself. <laughs> that I have. So uh, we. We best go check on him. Okay. I forgot. Am I there? You yeah. are there. Yeah, you're there. Can you hear me? Is it okay? Can you hear me, Aaron? I, I can hear you fine. I, I just wasn't sure if I was there. <laughs> yeah. Or if I was still in uh, Mama, Mama Fighter Bottoms. You, no, you're, you're with us in this tavern. Yeah, everybody but, but Jerk is here in the tavern. You guys left Mom's house to come find everyone and tell them your stuff you guys met up yeah. here you all know what each other knows except for jerk jerk knows nothing and you, nothing you're, at all. you're not entirely sure where he's at though you do have an idea where he went 
So I will totally agree then to uh, go hunt them down. All right. Sounds like everybody. Sounds like you guys are taking a walk down to the uh, the sleeping giant tavern, uh, sleeping giant tap room. Um, do I have any like marching orders from everybody? You got an idea about who's first, um, who's second, who's behind? How are we going to approach this? Even just walking would, in the door. I would suggest. Well, can we pull up the road first? Yeah. Without seeing what's inside the building. Yeah. Here, I'll I'll bring you guys over there. On the old map bits. Do, 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 do. I would probably suggest Sparkle Gem be in front because she's going to have the best. Sneak. And oh, I've got your guys. Not I I mean, exactly how surrounded I was. Whoops. Yeah. Not necessarily, not like you're way out in front. Like I'm like right behind you, but that you're going to be able to like peek around corners a lot more yeah. than I am. Yep. And so, we know the this is the only door, correct? That is the only door. That's yeah, the only door. This place they is are kind all... Of, kind of I'm shy. ignoring, like, from... Uh, Down. Pretty much this is what I assume I can't see at this point. Yeah, I could, I could mark it off, but then I'd just be unmarking it, and you've all kind of seen it at this point. So, yeah, you guys can't yeah. see inside the building, but you would approach... You've been told where the sleeping giant tap room is, so, so you know which building it is. So we're just approaching it, and we don't really know what's yes. like. We just see there's no guards. It's just yeah, it's, a tavern. Yeah, you don't see the red brands. You don't see jerk. You just see the building. So uh, how long have we been partying inside at this point? Uh, it hasn't been very long, um, because... Well, we walked through and you guys kind of split your ways to go to your different stuff, even though it took us some time to go through each one, like what you're each doing here. So it's probably been 45 minutes, maybe, uh, like since you walked up to this building, did everything you've done and where you're at, the situation you're at now. It hasn't been very long. Down. On a car with my hardworking husband. I'm assuming we can hear the sounds of the party from outside. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you'd hear some hustle and bustle going on inside. There's some uproarious laughter and uh, the sounds of a group of men. <clears throat> um, I'll uh, kind of look left and to the right to the... Everybody kind of shrugs. Sounds like he's having a good time. <laughs> um, would I... Let's see. If, if I were to go... Was... Over to this window I would be able to I would line of sight him correct if you walked up to like if you walked all the way around the building like if I were no no so if I were to where am I at here so if I were to walk I see what you mean over here right and look through this window yeah I mean so yeah so you basically wanted to walk around the building and check it out yeah Check inside now, and see. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to see what's going on inside. Right. I'm okay. not like cornered hostily. We're we're kind of having a good time well, at this point, right? Well, I don't know that, so I would like to kind of, I guess, roll perception to see if well, I can kind of figure out what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually asking Jared because I don't remember how we left it off. Okay. Like, so, did we start to make friends, or am I actually being like <laughs> cornered to be murdered? Are they like fucking? We with you? don't know. Yeah, I think friends I might said? be a bit, friends might be a bit much. Just as a reminder for last week, um, you kind of like you they they told you to get out, drop your weapon, and that's the way you would live. You dropped a you dropped a whip and you walked away. They jeered and made fun of you. You then scouted around the building. You saw there's no doors around the back. It's just windows. You saw counted the number of them in. You realized there were seven guys. You then came back around the front and said, I really want a drink. And they're like, yeah, come on, let's have a drink. <coughs> At which point they were kind of like herding you indoors. Um, as you came in, you had the idea to throw all your money down, say drinks on me. And, and you, you know, like persuade them to be your friends, at which point, you know, the bartender, she picked up the like, waited, it. And she's like, all right, boys, you drink for free tonight. Like you drink for free tonight. 
And they're like, yeah, all right. Like, and they brought you over the table saying, all right, oh, man, it's time to gamble. So they mm. pulled out a dice game. And I forgot about that. Yeah. <clears throat> like, so, you know, they're like, okay. all right, great. We're, you're going to be gambling with you now. So. so we're drinking and playing dice in the corner. Yep. Yes. All right. Yeah. So we bet there. And Talison, you just rolled around. Did you want to roll? Well, I, I'm going to. I would like to do a like stealth too, like. Okay, cool. And go I'm ahead. Not... And... Yeah, go ahead. What? No, I was gonna say go ahead. Give it to me. Oh, uh, what roll stealth? Mm-hmm. And then perception. Yeah, also perception. Um, so my stealth is plus two, and then. Your stealth is almost as good as mine. Wow. All right. So <laughs> yeah. you're not in combat, so it wasn't like a quick need to see anything. Uh, but mm-hmm. when you do when you do peek in from this window, um, the bartender, she doesn't notice you. Uh, but you mostly notice her in the kitchen and out of just the last little corner, you can see Jerk sitting there. But from this right. angle, you you really can't see any of the, anyone in the room. So you just see a bartender, you see him in the corner, like leaning back in a chair. Or what, or what in a chair? What are you doing in your chair? Basically what I'm doing right now. <laughs> right. Hold on. He doesn't look like too terribly concerned, though, I guess. It's my What I was trying to figure out is, like, based on his body language, should we be super worried or not? <laughs> like, do we need to bust in and save him, or, or does he seem like he's pretty comfortable at the moment? You, you really can't tell. You can see him in there, though. You yeah, can see him in I there, and him. he just seems to be sitting in the chair drinking. It's tough to tell. Man, I rolled like garbage, so understandable. All right. right. And you couldn't see his face probably from here, so it'd be tough to like tell. And then, yeah, I like your perception on that is. Yeah. Okay. okay. But you see him. You know I really doing? wanted to hear how you describe this. Because <laughs> I'm kind of standing back, like just waiting for the, the report. Oh, you want to know how Tailson r- describes it? Yeah, when he when he comes back. Yeah. Well, is anybody else gonna do something first, or before I head back over to you guys? I would say, well, if he's doing that, I'm going to go over here again, stealth and perception, see if we can't figure out what's going on. Okay. Go ahead, give me now, some should I, should I roll on our gambling game as well? Uh. Yeah. You know what? That's what we'll do next. All right. Uh, so yeah, myself is like a five. I trip on the way up, I assume. Wait, no, your bonus is higher than that. No, my bonus is only a plus three in stealth. Oh, all right. So you're five, but your perception was a higher. Yeah. One. Yes. So you jump up to see in the window, mm-hmm. which gets the attention <laughs> of a couple of these guys. See a what are you? You're a gnome. See this? A, yes. t- a tiny person jump up into the window. And as you notice in, you're able to get a quick head count of the people you see. This door is closed, so you're able to see in the room. You see that there are seven people in Jerk. But you also notice that you were noticed by at least two of them. Okay. Did I notice oh, her? Oh, shit. Are, we, are they still That'll rolling? be your with... perception. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to are... be uh, gambling, drinking, and if I, if I see them, like, look away i'll probably try to see what they're looking at um also do they they should still have disadvantage from being intoxicated yes i okay. i read it and i cleared i cleared up on the poison status mm-hmm. so they do have they're gonna have disadvantage on anybody who's poisoned has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks okay so what i would say in the instance of like being intoxicated is like if you're trying to persuade somebody who's drunk like you get advantage you might like get advantage depending on like you role play it well you say you tell me what you're gonna say um Mm -hmm. but also like you know when you're talking to a person who's just a little intoxicated these guys don't have to be wasted right you might be thinking that they're just like plastered on the ground drooling on themselves that's not the case right um but it also like i become harder to convince to do things when I'm drunk. So it might just be a regular kind of role for you. But I've been saying this instance, like persuasion, he's already sure. done really well. He's got a good chance of maybe 
leaning into something. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But it's not like their wisdom's like crazy high. So if you try and beat it, you're gonna do okay, probably. Yeah. So keep that in mind. They're not the smartest guys in the first place, but they're well, smarter than goblins. I'm gonna roll real quick to see if I noticed her, like they did. Well, I did not. You are distracted with these guys who are gambling uh, with you, and they. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll me another d20 for your let's see dex oh, modifier? No. Dang. All right, so you roll your dex mod. They they roll. Uh, a couple of these dice. You notice you guys actually get the same thing, but one of them looks at you and he's like, Haha, "You lost. What did you? What were you wagering?" And he's uh, looking I, at you it, for something. Uh, I toss him two silver. I'm like, "You guys are cleaning me out. This is all I got left." They realize you now. They now realize you have money on you still. <laughs> but they're like, "All right, all right. Next roll." Hey, what's your like? Put something on the table first, and they, you know, they're also rolling and they've divided up the money that was lost the last time. But it's the next hand coming up, so they want you to put something out on the table next. Um, what? Clean them out, man. I put a. a... <gasps> I put my goblin teeth on the table. <laughs> goblin are... teeth? Yeah, I'm like, these mean a lot to me. I just murdered these goblins outside of town, and they have very high sentimental value. Are these the golden teeth that you guys found in one person's pocket? No, no. Or are these just no, some these teeth? Are, these are some filed down goblin's teeth. All right, wait, wait. <laughs> Two of them are like... Just make a, d- a face like, what? The <laughs> other one looks you up and down. And he asks, he asks, what's in, he's like, what's in your backpack? Why don't you pull something out of there? His teeth aren't worth nothing. Uh, all right. Well, then I, I, I pull out my, uh, my bottle with the dead Sprite mouse. <laughs> And the bugbear teeth <laughs> left in it. Okay. I say, I got a thing for teeth, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right. So you pull out a bottle with a dead sprite and a dead mouse in it. <laughs> and, it's a couple. Nice. and the other teeth. That's I'm imagining that's where you had the teeth before. So you've got the rest of the teeth in there. Um. We're going to stop there for your inside, outside the building. <laughs> what do we do? I got to think of how they react to this. <laughs> All right. So you, you've you seen inside. You know there's seven of them. Talison's seen inside. He knows jerks there. We're not taking mm-hmm. turns at the moment, so anybody wants to jump in, go for it. Uh, hmm. Run back, group up, and report. Yeah, we should probably move back. And like just give, you know, give what information we have. So like I can see him in there, guys. Um he doesn't seem to be in too much danger. I can't really tell. I, the angle it's, you know, angle wasn't great and it's kind of dark in there. Um but it, the overall atmosphere it didn't seem like anybody was fighting or anything. Did you say uh, I could see Jerk there? I I could see what I think is him, yes. But I could confirm that was Jerk, correct? Yeah, okay. you saw him okay. and the seven seven guys in red cloaks. So, so peeking in from the front, I could tell you there's seven of them. He's in a corner drinking with them. But I can also tell you I was noticed by at least one of them. So they know we're here. Well, they know you're here. Well, oh, true. true. They know I'm here. here. So somebody saw. Somebody saw. So Pewbear is going to put a hand on his hilt and the the handle of his sword, ready to draw it. Kind of like, so what are we going to do here? I I don't 
I don't rightly know. I don't know if if we confront them. Uh, there's quite a few of them, and also like our friend is kind of in a position where they could easily, you know, take him because he's he's back in a corner surrounded by them. So I don't know if we just need. I, I don't know um, if we should wait it out and see if he, you know, is able to find a way to casually leave or. If he knows better to leave. And what's. I, we, I'm trying to think. Do. Is there any. I mean, we could use the fact that they know I'm here to their advantage. Or to our advantage, you guys could go sneak around, wait by the door, and I could go see what's around the other side of the building still. Is there, like, any small animal that I could talk to to try to convince to go, like, get his attention? I have a freaking animal table now, because you asked me this in the past. (laughs) (laughs) Truly, man. So I will tell you. I mean, hey, you know what? Never occurred to me. I never played a druid before, but I knew. I know now that I need this table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a D one hundred too. Jesus. Uh, I mean, it probably you're in town. I'm gonna imagine it's gonna be like small woodland creatures, if there's anything here. Yeah. Like. Like a mouse or something. Right. Rat. Small bird. Actually, so you're just like, you're actively kind of like looking around for animals? Yes. In the, like, southward, over here, at this tree, you actually see a large snake. Yes, that's what I'm told. That's the small forest creature that's nearby. (laughs) So, (laughs) let's see here. I... I think actually, yeah, no, wait. Yes. Let's see here. So I can talk to that thing now because I know Sylvan. So can I ask the snake, hey, uh, I, I need a favor. Is there any way that you could get into this tavern and, and get the attention of, of a friend of mine? It looks at you quizzically. I'm going to go over there, actually. Sorry. Okay. It's... It responds that it's trying to understand what you want it to do. What do you... What do you need? You want me to... So, I'm going to... I'm going to... Hiss um, at the Point to the tavern... You want to go in there, all right? And I'm trying to think of how I could describe this. Um, what would be what would be something that is very outstanding for a jerk, like something that would be noticeable? Because I feel like if I just say like, well, I can't say red because his skin is covered in makeup right now, and also they're all wearing red. Right, and. The one, tell him he's the one uh, backed into a corner. Okay. Because you, you would know you would Jerk's know appearance to describe him. Jerk, give give us your appearance so he could give you something to describe to this this guy. Like, uh, what's what's unique one, about the way you look with the makeup the only, on? The only one not wearing a red cloak. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, true. Well. Well, besides the bartender. The, okay, so the man and not wearing a red. I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna point to the tavern, and say, the the man that isn't wearing a red cloak. I need you to get him to come outside or his attention in any way, if if you can. Okay, so you want him to go inside and. Like hiss? I want him to like go inside and like. Some like 
I guess wrap around like, his, wrap like, his around leg. His leg or something and like then crawl out a window so that way to indicate as if go outside. Yeah. Because it I can well, so I know that I can understand their gestures, but I, I, I wanna like basically tell him like roll wrap around his leg and like try to give him some sort of a sort of gesture of like that's, that's gonna, gonna freak, freak me, out. me out. Come I'm gonna come like, literally here. run out of the, the saloon with the snake wrap. <laughs> that's around fine. My that will that's come. fine. That's what we want you to do. Talison, you also is you noticed that this was quite a large snake that you saw. You actually noticed it's it's very large, almost giant for a snake. It's huge. Okay. It's, a, it's a big snake. <laughs> um Okay. Uh, give me a second here. But he basically That's says, but he also looks at you and Does, you can understand him. Yes. Okay. So I can. I can. Well, I can. It's, it's. I can understand their gestures and sounds. Yeah. It wants rodents. Is what it's trying. It wants rodents. It wants rodents. It's hungry. It's really the thing it would exchange for something. Okay. Um. So Tell him there's a, a dead mouse in the pocket. We've got some chicks. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> given 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 the the large size of this snake, it'd probably scare the shit out of him if it's that big. It's a pretty yeah. It would be considered um, gigantic for a snake, medium for a beast. So can I tell it that? Uh, that that I know that that jerk has a mouse in a jar in there, and that you can have it if you can get them to leave. So you kind of communicate that the guy you want him to get its attention is mm. the same one who also has it food for him. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. It starts slithering towards the door. I don't have a snake icon, so let's see what I can do with this really fast. I'm gonna sure, probably move look over up. towards the tree. Try and watch from a distance. Let's see if I can find There's snake a snake. Really fast. <laughs> Just move that. That works. I got one. Boop. Okay. Snake. All right, so it starts slithering towards the door. It's not moving very fast. It's about here, so I don't know. You guys want to? You want to do anything else as you're watching this giant snake approach the door? I'm gonna kind of look at Talison and then to the snake, and then back at Talison, and then back to the snake, and just kind of raise an eyebrow. <laughs> but trust that he's got. I'll this. give you a thumbs up. Just be like, uh, and kind of like shrug, but like thumbs up, like. Maybe this will work. All right. Um, anybody else outside before I go back to jerk inside? Uh, I'm going to just like get a bow in hand in case anything goes south. Um, can we also elect that, like, P Bear, or uh, not P Bear, but um, no, actually, yes, P Bear, like, move out of line of sight like if they were to look out this window feel like they could see most of you although it is nighttime correct no it's day it's still That's daytime so yeah, yeah we're day drinking <laughs> it has not been that long yeah okay so we're probably, we're probably gonna say after after definitely not my specialty sure but you know line of sight uh yeah you help. could be like you could hide, try and hide before this happens, and you could still like roll me a hide check if you want to like hide behind a tree or something. I'm gonna or use around the yeah, side of the building. The building. Or... I don't I mean, know. Gonna... Just for grins, we go ahead and roll a hide check. I'll try to hide in those bushes there. All right. Okay. Go for it. Give me your rolls. I want your rolls all the time. Let's see here. I don't. Yeah. Nice. I think I'm in the bushes. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can still be behind the bush, just visible. Um, because I think I can do what Mask of the Wild, so they wouldn't be able to really see me if I'm standing still over here. Uh, yeah, I think you get what like advantage of it, or you're able, you're just straight up able to hide. I think I'm just, I'm trying to, where the hell really? is that actual description here? Features and traits, half elf variant, Mask of the Wild. You can attempt to hide even when you're only lightly obscured. So that would yes, be like, there like there's like rain, like a heavy rain or a fog that normally you'd see like the outline of a person and you could straight up just attempt to hide in those things. So What's on, maybe like the bushes that are might be just lightly obscure. If I go over here. Yeah, maybe like behind that tree yeah. or something. You've, you've yeah. Got it. You have a That's, better chance to hide against lightly obscured. Let's say you're just straight up hidden behind the tree trunk. Mm -hmm. You can't really cool. see out there, but you also. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Does anybody else? No, that's the three of you. Oh, I guess we should roll Godwall. I didn't mean to roll him with advantage, but let's take it. Um, <laughs> he gets his right. four, 14. That was an accident. But. We'll say he is hidden over here with the gobble then. Okay, then back inside the bar. Jerk, what are you doing? Uh I'm I'm waiting for their reaction. Oh yeah, right. So they so you put out this you put out this jar with or this bottle with a <coughs> And as as I set it down, I say, wait, wait. I'm like, hold on, I got one more thing. This is awesome. And I pull out the uh I pull out the poison and I set it on the table. I'm like, this is the best alcohol I have ever had in my life. Oh, God. Okay. So that's a deception. Yes, it but is. Go ahead and give it to me. Roll your deception. Uh, let me look at my deception first. At first, as you put out the teeth, they're like, yeah, no, pull something else out. And then you go ahead and... Uh, so that's 14. All right. So you, then you go ahead and you pull out this jar with the... It's a sprite and a dead mouse and some more teeth in it, in which they're, they're just like, uh, and you, they start to like move towards you. They're maybe going to try to take your things from you. Then you throw this other bottle out on the ground and you're like, hold on, this is the greatest alcohol that I have <coughs> ever had. Yes. Remember, I, they all get... Uh... <laughs> Well, you would do it. They wouldn't. You would have advantage. So go ahead and okay. roll me again. See if you get higher than that. Plus your modifiers. Plus what? Like five on this. Oh! Damn. All right. So with your advantage on your deception, which was plus four anyway, so you would have been fourteen, or twenty. They see this rainbowed bottle of with this tiki man on the top, and his set of charms against it. I'm gonna roll Wait. one. I'm gonna see. If there's seven of them. I'm gonna roll a d10 and see how many of them are interested in this. How many of them might just be ignoring you? Well, if I have advantage, that was a twenty. No, no, I know. No, you got it. You convinced them that okay. that is alcohol. <laughs> okay. And they they believe that that is alcohol, and so and the ones at the table with you, are like, oh shit. Like, that's incredible. Like, is that from some, like, dwarven brewery? Like, what the hell? And they pick up the bottle, and they're, like, examining it. Like, somebody's kind of holding it up I in the air. And they're taking it, and they've largely forgotten your other offerings on the table for this very clearly magical alcohol. I tell them, <laughs> I tell them, it's better than a dwarf brewery. A wizard made this for me. <laughs> And then I guess we, we roll for it. I, but I, I the, dwarf, say, the dwarf behind the bar crosses her arms over over her head and says, that's no dwarf, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and I, then what did you uh, say? I'm sorry. And then I, I guess we roll for it. Yes. Well, so we're rolled for it. And like four, the, the ones around the table are, are interested and, the, and they are like alcohol. So... They, uh, they're like, all right, I guess we're all going to have a glass. And oh, there's shit. four of them at the table with you. And they look back at the bartender and say, 
Krista, five glasses. And okay. She asks, you know, there are five mugs, and they she brings over five wooden mugs. As I'm- she's walking next to you, walking in the door, a gigantic snake comes inside. <laughs> And I've got to roll perception with disadvantage for seven people right now. And I've got to roll perception for me. Oh, I don't know this is a snake. <laughs> oh, God. This is horrible. <laughs> All right. With disadvantage... No one notices the giant snake growing in the room. Not even and Krista, damn. Krista, hold on. Krista's busy serving drinks. Oh, shit. Okay, so... So he's coming in, and he's looking for the only person without a red <coughs> cloak. Male. And he is Leon. slid up under the table. Of course, you don't know that. Maybe, maybe, nope, maybe Talison, if he wasn't completely hidden... Could have seen something from the door as it pushed the door. Oh, it had to push the door open <laughs> and go inside. And no one saw it. I love this yes. game. Yes. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so that's it. So back to the outside, you guys. Your snake has gone inside the building. <laughs> do you do anything? Do you continue hiding? Um, uh, not much else I can do, really. All right. Do I have the ability to, let's see here. Can I like go to the side of the building and try to like listen in? Yeah. I mean, with the door shut again, you could probably go up to the front and try to like listen near the window without being seen. Like if you were standing like here. Yeah. I think, I think, I, you, I I think you'd understand roll. if you were just trying to listen. Yeah, should I roll stealth though? Just to make sure I'm not being like loud as shit. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Pretty yeah, good. that should be good. Yeah, that beats their that beats their passive perception for sure. Yeah. All right. And so you're up and you do like a perception to listen in. Mhm. Uh, let's see here. With plus five on that it's gonna be pretty easy for you you're Seven. able to you're still able to hear a bunch of people like uh like making a bunch of noise there's a few there's a few conversations going on but you definitely hear one that's about like oh this is gonna be some good drink <laughs> he's talking about how they're about to have something that nobody has screamed about a snake or anything like that I am so excited about this, by the way. <laughs> about the snake sneaking in? No, about the about the what is about to transpire with this drink. I know. I, I think I got. Oh yeah. I, I'm pretty sure the I got to add a. I got to add a roll for a giant, giant snake now. All right, and by the way, I'm gonna sleight of hand when we take our drinks. And he's, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got a sleight of hand when you take the drinks. Yeah, so that I do not drink mine. Okay. Go ahead and give me your roll. Seven plus five. Twelve on it. Okay. Hold on a sec. Um, okay. Uh, seven plus five. She brings out four more mugs of ale and the one of the guys who's got it pops a bottle open, pours five drinks around, pours five glasses, which would be the contents of the, of the thing. That would be all that's left in that one bottle. And, uh, Lifts his glass and everybody roll me initiative. <laughs> oh, he noticed, didn't he? No, I just need initiative rolls. Two. 
Oh, 20. Nice. Did one. Uh, yeah. And then that's Pew Bear the Lemon. And then we I mean, might as well. Yes. We should probably roll God Wild, right? Probably. Three. All right. Do, 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 do. Play order. Let's. All right. As they, as they raise their glasses and yours is up, and you attempt to sleight of hand to, I'm assuming like grab the other drink. Like yeah, so kind of somebody like the... notices like do a swap or something. Yeah. Perception's going to be on disadvantage. I'm just going to go with the fact that nobody noticed you just the swap. And the snake, what happens is the snake comes oh, up they need right up in front first. of you. Yeah, the snake comes up right in front of you and looks up and just starts hissing in your face, at which point everyone goes, the fuck? <laughs> and it's, everyone in that room is surprised. Damn because it, my nobody saw gone. this in here. And nobody and, drank the potion. Oh, it's in the glasses. Yeah. And so this series of things, it goes, the fuck? So the first person to move is Talison. on our first turn here. Talison, you're, um, look, you're looking in the window at this point, I would mm-hmm, say. You can yeah. see in the window. You see, you know that your snake was in there and comes up and you just hear them go, the fuck? What do you do? <laughs> um, can I roll, I guess, perception to see if they're going to like run out here or if like to get, I guess, to get information. You would just notice that they're all surprised. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what oh. I what. Oh. oh. So, <laughs> what? Um. So, okay. So, can I can I go to the door and? If you want to roll me a perception, I'll I'll try to give you a more detailed version of what you see from that window. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, five, five plus, plus your what four? Mm, five. Oh, five plus five, ten. You're able to easily see inside. This you you see this. You see them all raising their glasses, and and then just stunned as a giant snake giant snake <laughs> pops up from underneath the table and it starts hissing towards hissing towards a uh, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Um, everyone's freaked the fuck out. That's very okay. obvious to you. They're all like, "Whoa, shit!" Um, okay. So can I? I feel like at this point, we might be getting into a fight. I think uh, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna come inside, and uh, what I want to do is I want to try to get the snake's attention to, like, motion to it to, like, go ahead and, and leave. Um, do I need to roll anything for that? I mean, so your action is to... I, I imagine, you'd, what, you'd have to say something, like, in Sylvan towards I, it? Y- yeah, well, okay, so... I, I, I'm going, yeah, I guess that would be more of an interaction, but I do want to, I guess I want, I'm trying to play off of this basically. So I, I want to come in um, and, and just say like, Hey guys, I'm here for a drink. What, what's, what's going on? Um, you know, I was told about this tavern to come check it out. I'm just uh, trying to convince them that I'm like a random passerby. So I think that would be performance if you're trying to like say, 
Oh, uh, shit. Snake, go away. I saved you guys from the snake. Love I, me. I want to put this in the terms of, like, how combat works. Because we're working in the time frame of combat. So, like, with the six seconds between them being surprised and not knowing what to do about the snake, your mm-hmm. response is to come in and be like, Hey, guys. What's going on? I am thirsty. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, no. I'm trying to I'm trying to set myself up for <clears throat> like dissolving the situation, basically. I think they're going to instantly attack the snake. So you might just want to shout at the snake to get the hell out of there. Uh It's up to you. Snake just is, tell me what you want to do. The snake is huge. Do I have the ability to like in in the midst of saying that, like at the end of it, just kind of like saying something to the right snake back. in Sylvan to like, hey, go ahead and get out of here. I would kind say of thing. if you were to try to like give give someone, anyone, like persuade them to do something, give them a command, like that's gonna be more your action. It's not just the like sentence. You're you're like putting the effort into saying something and trying to do something with Okay, them. so that like that's so, the difference between being like there's five of them, you know, and just saying that after you swing your sword and mm-hmm. like, hey you person, I have your attention now. Snake animal, I have your attention. I want you to okay. do blank thing. Although I would so, just sit throughout they probably don't speak so well, sure. Um, so basically, um, <laughs> okay. So what I what yeah. So that so me talking to them would be my interaction, and then me talking to the snake would be my action. Correct. Okay. What order do you do these things in? Um. So I I want to try to get some of their attention and and just say, hey guys, you know what's going on. Um, but at the end of it, just. Uh, at the end of that, just like I want to tell the snake and Sylvan to uh, go ahead and get out of here, but I'm gonna kind of be like <clears throat> uh, and like pretend like I'm just kind of choking while I say it to like pass it off as just not me right. being. You know, I don't want to obvious. I'm trying to not obviously be talking to the snake. So Talison walks in the bar after hearing everyone shout, "What the fuck!" And he walks in and says, hey, guys, what's going on? I'm thirsty. And then, as if swearing in Sylvan, goes, ah, and then, like, says something out at it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That would mean next it's the giant snake's turn. And you were telling it to get out of there? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, it will attempt to leave. Uh, let's see. It's got, like, 30. So it could probably quite easily get out of here, but problem being, it's going to lose, like, tax of opportunity. So, well, it's good. Yeah. if it's going under the table. Mm-hmm. Maybe it would be, I mean, they're all going to have disadvantage on these anyways, so. Sure. Snake, Snake is going to try and retreat out the building as, as it's been. Can it not fit through windows? Second, a second time. It's. It's apparently really big. It's a really big like, snake. It's a giant. So it's a giant snake. That's the name of the snake, giant snake. That's what I rolled for. Happened to be <laughs> lurking in the in the nearby bushes. It's a very large animal. Um, windows are closed. It's just it's on. It's a ground creature, so it's gonna try and go on the ground and go out under the table, and they're surprised. Actually, everyone here is surprised. So. The snake moves outside. <laughs> so they don't really, they don't, their surprise means they don't get a, uh, <laughs> they don't get an attack of opportunity because they're surprised. So now the Guess snake is outside. The snake just left? Yep. And the next person in, in order here is Hubert. You have just watched Talison pop in and say, hey guys, I need a drink. Not like I don't know. It sounds like he's swearing. So in silver. was Maybe his approach a full-on sprint from where he was? Yeah. No, he was up against the door before the uh, combat started. Yeah. Because these guys drew swords. They were ready to. They guess these guys are going to draw their swords. They're ready to attack this snake, but they're also surprised by it, and the fact okay. that they just leave left probably. So you guys are on the first round and they're not going to get turns to move this time. 
Okay. Um, upon hearing the commotion from inside, I think Pew Bear is gonna. I'm gonna say he's not. He's not full on sprinting, but he's going to do like a a power walk. Right. To uh, <laughs> to the front there. Can I use so, all your movement? Uh, I'm going to use my movement, but what I'm going to do is instead of moving uh, the full 60, I'm going to move 45. Oh, okay. Just, so you're taking the just, dash uh, action, but you're not using all of it. Exactly, because I, I, I Pew Bear doesn't know exactly what's going on, but he's he's obviously concerned to some degree. Cool. So that's I think that's what I'll do. I just got to measure out where that is. And I'll uh, yeah, make sure my, my shield is on my arm, but I'll hold off on drawing my sword. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the... Uh... Right. Bear is here. Bing. You should mm -hmm. have control of him. Bing. There it is. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and strut on up to the door there. And so you, why did the bar? Why did the bartender move? Oh, because she's bringing us. She's drinks. bringing the, the glasses over. Um, so as you walk up to the door, past Talison inside, you see a few people sitting at the table with Jerk, as the snake has walked out. Everyone holding up a glass and stepping back in surprise at their at what they've just seen. Did you do anything else? Well, what else? Uh, that's really the only action I think I can take at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I have been I have been giving you guys as your bonus action if you want to use uh, speech as an interaction. So to say leave or something, you know, like real short phrases. I think what I'll do is I'll have my hand on my on my sword. I'm not going to draw it yet, but as like a weight. Okay. Um, so if, somebody... if, if something looks like a fight's going to break out, I want to draw my sword. Okay. Down. That would put us down the order to Godwald, who I'm going to just say seeing some movement takes his, uh, and some things occurring, seeing the snake leave. He's just going to move closer to kind of be prepared. So I have a question about spells. Are they line of sight or are they like, can you cast a spell at somebody through a window? They are different. So it depends on the spell you are talking about. How about healing spells? Would he be better hanging out outside by a window and shooting us with uh, God Rays? <laughs> God <laughs> Rays. I love it. Uh, like, let me look like real fast. Hunt. Cure Wounds is touch. So he has to actually be near you to touch and give you something with Cure Wounds. Healing Word, on the other hand, has a range of 60 feet that he has to be able to see. I also have healing word. Well, so. Oh, you guys should get ready to shout a lot. And then sanctuary <laughs> is abjuration. My sanctuary. Whatever you guys do, we need to help yeah. them to take a shot because I really want to see them with a random, uh, a random <laughs> um, affliction wow. from this potion. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have... No, yeah, I don't have any sort of, like... Okay. Damn. Yeah, and then he... Yeah, he holds on to his... Uh, he holds on to his action. He's not going to conjure up any magic, because if he doesn't use it, it will be lost. But he is generally... Yeah, just move there. All right, uh, that puts us next in the order to Sparkle Gem. All right. Uh, everything I had planned just got ruined. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't know what you had planned. Oh, my plan was to wait by the door and the first one to run out gets shoved onto the ground so they all topple over one another, all fall prone. Like, <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> like something out of a Bugs Bunny cartoon? We could like, yeah, like we would have had draw them outside. Everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but all right. I'm worried about them taking this potion shot because the other ones are probably gonna 
be pissed. Oh, everybody's going to be pissed, but it's going to be so fun. So. I'm trying to decide how I would have to do this because my plan is I want to dash to the window and then ready my bow to yeah. shoot the first one that gets a like that goes to attack one of our teammates. It's like you know, bust the window. Um, I don't know if you should do that at the window in case they see you with a weapon drawn. That's true. Maybe like off to the side or something. I'm going to try my best to use diplomacy until we can get ourselves into a particular advantage spot, because there's a lot more of them than us. They also don't know that Jerk is on our side. Yeah, that's so that true. Gives us an, that also gives us an advantage. And also, the snake. You didn't know what? Go too I'm far. just going. Yeah, the snake didn't go too far. I'm... He got as far as he could with his regular movement. Someone should feed that damn snake. Well, I mean, I've got a proposition <laughs> for it. So, <laughs> you know. All right, but Sparkle. Yeah, Jim? I'll just move right here and ready my bow for the first red brand that gets aggressive within my line of sight towards our team. All right. So that'll put us back at the top of the order. Surprise is over. No one else is surprised now. That means it's Talison's turn. Talison. Well, actually, okay. I, I had uh, the lowest. Um... Yeah, you were surprised along with everyone else. Oh, I was else. surprised with everyone Yeah. You were surprised when a giant snake appeared out from underneath the yes, table. And I was very surprised. You. You're very surprised. <laughs> everyone so in that I'm... room was surprised that that happened. Yeah. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to, I'm just going to act surprised and just be like, whoa, did, where did that huge snake come from? And I'm going to like look out the door to see like, a, like um, it went out that way. I kind of want to whisper to it, like, stay here and I've got some food for you. Okay, so you're going to roll some, you're going to throw me some deception rolls. Because you're yeah. like, where did that snake come from when you know damn well where that snake came from? Exactly. No, I do. <laughs> um, but then, I, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and whisper to the snake, like, hey, like, if you, if, you stay, if you stay and help me if I'm in trouble, then I will make sure you're fed. Um, and then turn back to them and just be like, that was crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, so I will roll for uh, deception. Which I don't really have an advantage yeah. on, but so just as a as a kind of reminder, oh, oh, nice, well, nice roll. Thank um, you. You are you are phrasing uh, what just happened. Your confusion, uh, the same thing that everyone else totally plays off. But as as a quick reminder, I have been letting you guys do like your like an extra like talking as like using your bonus action for an interaction. Mm -hmm. So just remember that you're using up your bonus action when you do that. So if you had something else, it's like bonus action, do this attack or this spell or something. You've used it on then that. Then I couldn't. Time. Right. Right. Um, so just as a heads up, because I don't want you guys to get in that situation. And then maybe like, true. bringing you down now. But just a heads up. Yeah. But, but in this so case, I, this has worked I did out though, quite well. Yeah. I did understand that. Um, but also a giant snake has like really good stats. And if it helps us... <laughs> That could be pretty sweet. I mean, it went in at the promise of food and it left. You know, if you mm. continue promising it food, it seems to be. Confused. It seems to be confused that they go in there and do this and I'll get food. Hold on. Wait there. I'll get you food. It's a little, a little off, but that's fine. All right. You were like, what the hell was that? And that was your that was your reaction on this roll. Mm -hmm. And the I thought it was the one that did that. The first red brand at this one here 
at the table, pulls up, he puts the glass down, the the mug that he had, and he pulled his sword and he said, Did you just see the did you see the size of that snake? We've <laughs> he just I, holds up his sword and he, That's what she said. And he looks and he's just like looking at the situation, he's really not sure like about anyone here. And he's like, Did you just see that fucking thing? Pulls his weapon. Oh fuck, man. And he is I mean, oh god, they were about to try and take out it's the person in the room. Shit, you guys are really making me think this through. <laughs> About these random thugs who just want to start a fight with you. Um, he's he's livid. He's livid. He does not like the giant snake showing up and then disappearing. And he's just he's got his sword drawn. He's pulled it from his belt, set the mug down, and he's like, "What the fuck was that?" And he goes to go out the door after the direction he saw it at. So he moves, let's see, this is going to cost him movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. To chase the snake out the door. Sword drawn. Right up next to Pooh Bear. <laughs> oh, hi there, buddy. Seeing the snake out there. Red brand. 11 is that's 8 that's 6 there's 11 11 does the same draws his weapon short sword after seeing his buddy run out and he comes up he can't really get out the door and he gets up to where you are and is trying to move his way out. Let's see, he would be able to actually let me count this. Sorry. Okay, he's going to move to follow his friend. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. To move out and follow his friend with little concern for the half elf who just walked in, but following the giant snake. The th red brand number 10. Would follow suit, but it's pretty crowded by the door here now. So he simply simply stays put, draws his weapon, also afraid of giant snakes. <laughs> Red brand number nine, on the other hand, takes the drink. Yay! That's the fourth one. Was the one that took the drink, as I've been waiting for. And Red brand number nine... Takes takes a swig of the drink, puts it down, draws his sword. He's also ready to go kill a giant snake, but he just used his action and his and his inner. Well, he just used his action and his interaction. Right. And then uh, we're brand number eight. Jesus, there's so many of these guys. Uh -oh. Sitting at the table. Looks at Talison, draws his sword. Tensions are heightened now. And he and he says, "Who are you? What do you want?" And it is Hubert's turn. Oh, so I got to make a decision because. Uh, so when they ran by with. When they ran by Talison, they just kind of moved him out of the way to get out the door, right? Yeah, they kind of just pushed past him. Which I suppose Talison, by the way, with either of these two, if you wanted to attack, you had the uh, attack of opportunity. Did he actually get poisoned by that? It says uh, every ten minutes he pukes up something strange. Yeah. Is that, when does that kick in? Uh, every ten minutes. So at some point in the next ten minutes, he's All right. probably gonna. Vomit up something here. I'll roll his constitution, which would be... Uh, it'd be like a constitution save with disadvantage because he's already poisoned. Yeah, he's going to beat a 15. <clears throat> yep. He gets an 8. 
So he's going to throw up. Red Brand Ruffian, number nine, is going to throw up something here. <laughs> okay, let me check something. Whoa. Let me. <laughs> let me. Also, Towson, again, up to you. If they just run past you, cool. But I, I kind of, I did just assume that you weren't, so I forgot to mention it. Again, I'm sorry. Wait, I can't hear you. Did we lose him? Yeah, I can't hear him. Can anybody I'm hear sorry. him? Oh, there you are. Hang on. I, I switched to push the talk because my dog is making a bunch of noise. Who's a goop? <laughs> but I was saying that um, I'm not going to attack them yet because I haven't shown any hostility towards them. And I also rolled high enough to where they don't know that I know what's going on. Yeah, so you, you... I'm just I'm just trying to act like play dumb and and see if I can like I don't personally I don't want to attack them and like fuck this lady's bar up. <laughs> I mean I don't know anything about her, but I feel like that wouldn't look good on us. Fair enough. So you didn't do the opportunity attack, which means Pu Bear <clears throat> you were looking something up. Um since they're kind of pushing their way past, um, Any and it looks like they're focused on something else, I'm assuming, probably that giant-ass snake. The giant-ass snake. Um, giant-ass snake. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to hold off on drawing my sword, and I'm going to take this as an opportunity to cast Bless on myself, Taliesin, and Jerk, since they're the ones in my line of sight. All right. So bless. One minute. That means the three characters, you, creatures you just picked, whenever they make an attack roll or a saving roll before the spell ends, you add a d4 and add that to your attack or saving throw. So who'd you pick again? Uh, myself, Talison, and Jerk. All right. So guys, remember to add a d4 to your rolls. Woot woot. For, uh, rolls awesome. for what? Everything? Uh, attacks attack, and... attack and saving throws. Okay. Oh, nice. didn't mean to do that. That's okay. I'm going to grab my uh, slippers. Hold on. All right. So he casts Bless. You cast some magic spells on them. Pubier, that puts us at red brand number four. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, oh it auto five. does it now. Crud. Uh -huh, he's red brand number five. Red brand number five pulls his sword as well as the other one, pointing it at Talisa and asking, uh, he asked your name. <laughs> it's throwing it in. It's just pointing, grimacing, and readying his, his weapon. A series of things have agitated these drunk men. He is saying this to me? To me, or? He... Pointing a sword at you since the first one did. He's following suit and say, he didn't even say anything. Just draws it and points at you. He's waiting for a response from the other guy. But barely any time has passed. Literally seconds. Which means right brand right. six. Right brand number six. Draws his weapon as well. Everyone has drawn weapons, so they're all just sword happy now. If these were guns, it'd be like, pop, 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 pop. But instead it's shing, 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 shing. Yay! Draws it and prepares himself, which puts us at Jerk's turn. Um, this situation hasn't come to blows yet. It at all? I mean, I don't even know. I gotta think about these guys and how they act. What do you do? I uh, I look at uh, Talison and I'm like, uh, barkeep, a drink for the young man. And that's that's what I do. No weapon drawn, no one holding any hostility except for the ruffians. Godwald she, on the outside. She, witnesses his well, brother I mean, cast bless. Oh, unless you do anything else. I mean, is she going to Oh shit, she needs a turn get a too. drink? Fuck. Alright, nope. Let's throw her I've, thank you. I mean, she was not gonna do anything. But I do need to know at which point she's not going to do anything. <laughs> Alright. So 
Let's throw a roll in and. Well, I mean, um. She was stunned the first turn. She was surprised the first turn. She doesn't have. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. If only I had everything ready constantly all the time, I'd be such a better DM. I, I guess I could try deception, but like, I don't know this guy, but he seems pretty cool to me. He should drink with us. Well, so, no, you said barkeep. I'll drink yeah, for it. Drink for the young man. Yeah. I'll drink for the young man. And then, I don't know, maybe All get right. my... I want to be ready in case something happens. I'm glad that but I'm a young, young man at the age of 57. But You're, yeah. a, you're a halfling, right? I'm a half elf. Half, half so elf. that's pretty young for me. That but is yeah. pretty young for you, yeah. Um, I mean, I want to get ready in case something happens, but I don't want to like go for my daggers because that's going to escalate things. Right. They've all or gone for their just, weapons. I could just straight up sneak attack. There are red brands who are within five feet of your allies. You could jump on the table and attack red brand ruffian number 10. Mm. I'll let it play out for now. Say barkeep, a drink for the young man. Yes. Continue sitting in your chair after. Yeah, the, just just, just lead it not back surprised, like that not surprised at all by the giant snake. I mean, you were surprised by the giant snake, but you're not reacting to it. Yeah, I, can I reason with these guys? I'm like, so what? It's a giant fucking snake. Let's sit down and drink. We were in the middle of something, fellas. <laughs> I mean, not after you've already done the other things, but maybe next time. All right. Godwald has seen his brother cast. Wes cast magic on his on his party and man, you're doing bless on top of it. He's going to cast bless on himself and Sparkle Gem. So Godwald and Sparkle Gem both have a D4 to their attack rolls and their saving throws. And then next turn. Sparkle Gem, what do you do? Uh, so no one's attacked anybody. It appears like these two, two guys are going to run after the snake. Two guys just ran out of the bar with their with their weapons drawn. That's all I know. Yep, and they're <laughs> yeah. I mean, the snake came out. Tal Talison went in. The snake came out. Two guys came out after it, and you saw Pubert. Casting magic. You've seen Godwald casting magic. And you, okay. feel, and you feel blessed by the hand of Bahamut. Woo! Uh, I'm going to... Man, I'm pretty sure I have sneak attack right now. Sneak attack's like your damage for those qualifications, right? So like, well, you, do, you, yeah. do an, you do an attack. They've These guys out here have seen you. So you're not going to get like uh, advantage from being hidden, but if you do hit them, you'll get sneak attack damage. Yeah. For them being where they're at. Cuz they're within 5 feet of your friends. Well, they're in 5 feet of a creature that <sighs> Oh shit, no one's fighting. No one's fighting. You guys don't get sneak attack damage. We haven't we haven't engaged in anything yet. Yeah, I it's know. just swords swords drawn from the snake and we're doing their turns in the time. You you wouldn't get it because they're not engaged in a fight with someone else. That's when you would get your sneak attack if you've got somebody within five feet. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda sneak around behind God. Eh, no. I'm just going to keep my bow ready so the second any of these guys attacks a teammate or looks like they're coming to attack me, turret mode kicks in. All right. Oh, shit. I forgot to move the snake, too. But you did say stick around and I'll feed you, so he didn't go anywhere. All right. Okay. That would mean we're back at the top of the order. Talison, you're in the middle of the room. Jerka said, barkeep, a drink for the young man. And a red brand, one of the ruffians has pointed his sword at you and be like, who the hell are you? 
Okay. So I'm just going to like kind of toss my hands up and be like, Hey man, I was just coming in here for a drink. Uh, you know, my name's Samsonite and I'm just, I was just stopping by this town on a travel and was told to come by here. They had good beer. So you're just uh, kind of like hands in the air being like, Whoa, my name's Samsonite. Yeah. And <laughs> then, uh, but I want to. So you're just trying to deceive me... this ruffian because you're lying about your name. Right. Um, but I'm also going to. I know I have the ability to do something. Hang on. Yeah, I think it's probably should be break time for me real quick. To get to bed. Yeah, I noticed that. Be back right. in a minute. Yeah, go ahead. We'll, um, we'll finish up Talison's yeah. move, and then uh, and then we can get down to brass tacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to see if I prepare a, to cast a spell. That's probably obviously going to give away that I'm doing that, right? Yeah, you can like when you hold your action to use a spell. You kind of like gather your your magical energy instead of like get using it like summon lightning and then shooting it. You're holding it, so it's kind of obvious that you're you doing would... something magical. Right. Okay. Though they'd so... have to like pass some kind of perception check to have an idea of what that is, but still. Right. Um. Hang on. Let me let me read this. All right. Well, I will be back. Okay. Yeah, you guys can take a break while I do this. Yeah, we got a moment. What's happening over there? Overwatch, huh? God, I love that monitor. Abby's got a really nice monitor, and I'm super jealous. I can always tell what she's playing from just your tiny camera. <laughs> it's like, it's high quality monitor. I wish I owned a monitor that also had. My big one's pretty nice, but I would like to get a, a nicer one or like a 4K one. So like hers, what's nice about it is that it's not a, it's a 144 hertz, right? Like, and so is mine, but it's a 144 hertz vertical refresh. So like, it's so noticeably smooth in comparison. Like it's, it, it boggles my mind because having the other like dimension of the same refresh, like I, I didn't even know it was such a difference, but it's very obvious when she's playing. I look at it and just like that's sickeningly smooth. But anyways, yours, because your your action's gonna be, hey, I'm Samsonite. I'm just coming in yeah. for a drink. What's going on? Yeah. Um... Would that be a bluff or a deception? Deception. They're the same thing, right? Oh, now. yeah. They're the same thing now. Oh. Because it's more kind of general. It's based off your, like, charisma, and then you do it. And so, like, but he doesn't really have, he doesn't really have a a, a proficiency in deception. So it's just his pure role. But at the same time, with them being all, they are all intoxicated. They're all under the poison status. He's going to have advantage on deception or persuasion. So that's nice. Advantage is fucking sweet. Are you okay. like making the debate between that and like? Well, so I'm debating else? on. So as a bonus action, I can cast a spirit totem, and so de um, if we are about to get into a fight, then there's three different spirits that I can summon, mm -hmm. um, 
and that that will give us pretty big advantage. So if I do the bear spirit, um, my personal favorite. Um, <laughs> I know, right? It blows my mind that that's a thing. I know. <laughs> like, um, each creature of my choice, so pretty much just my allies, uh, gains temporary hit points um, equal to five plus my druid level, so seven. Um, in addition, all of your allies gain advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws while in the Aura. And the Aura is 60 feet. No, uh, the Aura is 30 feet. Is uh, 30, 30, like foot, 30 foot radius. Um, the Hawk Spirit, um, when a creature makes an attack roll against a target in the Spirit's Aura, you can use your reaction to grant advantage to that attack roll. In addition, you and your allies have advantage on perception checks. Um, or the Unicorn Spirit, which uh, basically gives you an AoE heal. Um, you have advantage on ability checks um, made to detect creatures in the Spirit's Aura. In addition, if you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to any creature inside or outside the Aura, each creature of your choice in the Aura also gains hit points additional hit points equal to your Druid level. So. Basically, like if one of us healed any of us, we everyone else would also get two hit points. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just. I think maybe the the bear one might be the best option. Because um, they do kind of have it's like. It's gonna give us. Yeah, they're gonna. It's gonna buff us. On, yeah. Well, it's gonna it's gonna buff us against strength attacks. Um. And it's also going to give us plus seven health each. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you're going to go through those temp hit points beforehand. Also, Godwald. Hey, hey it's buddy. Godwald. Hello. Oh, no. He, oh, wait. There's no audio. I see you. Dude, Um, we've been noticing that. Sorry about we, that. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I've read the I've read the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been noticing that. We've been noticing okay. if we've got other stuff that uses camera and mic that it doesn't like move over, which I guess yeah, makes, I believe I that guess makes sense when you think about it. But I guess I never really thought about it. I always thought like the thing I'm using now is gonna take advantage of that. Instead, it's not the case. Yeah, no, I've had that problem before. Yeah. Uh, we're in Talison's turn. He's debating about what he's going to do here. Uh, jerk. Took a break to put his daughter to sleep, and Sparkle Gems having a cigarette. Actually, I need to use the restroom too, really fast. So, Talison, I'm gonna let you keep debating, and Godwald, I'll be right back. And if you bear, if sure. you're still there, cool. But I don't see your camera, so I can't tell. Yeah. So. So this is. I guess. Us I guess at the tavern. You I guess. Yeah, so we came, I tried to see if I could convince a snake to go in and get ta uh, Drick's attention, which it did do, but the snake that I convinced to do it is a giant snake, and it's fucking gigantic. Oh, so oh. it scared everybody. I see a snake there. Yeah, it scared everybody. Um, I walked in as this happened, um, you know, just saying that, I was looking to get a drink and asking what's going on. And then I told, I said, told the snake and Sylvan to leave, um, but to stick around and asked it to help me if I'm in trouble and I will get it food. Um, so it hasn't gone anywhere. The two that are on the porch came out after the snake um, weapons drawn. Um, Two of them have their weapons drawn at me. One asked who I was. I lied and said my name is Samsonite. Uh, and then I was just a passerby that was told that there was good beer here. Um, so I'm about to roll a deception check on that. Um, and I'm debating on whether or not, like, if we're about to just get into this fight, uh, if I should cast or if I should use my bonus action to um, summon a bear spirit that will buff the shit out of all of us. Hmm. I mean, well, if I recall from the older D&D, that's strength, right? 
It gives us plus. Uh, it gives us. Um, yeah, we have an advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws, but we also get uh, temporary hit points of five plus my druid level, so plus seven. We'd all have plus seven extra health. And there's seven of us of them and five of us, so and they everybody... are also in, intoxicated, but not like not like in to the point where they wouldn't be able to fight us. Right. They just have the regular poisoned condition, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. And I've been giving them I've been giving players advantage on pers- on persuasion and deception rolls on them. Yeah. Like last time. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a little different because last time I was rolling for them against it, and I said it just makes more sense to have the player roll. Oh, the hey, advantage. God, Walter. Hey. So yeah, I would. I, uh, I would uh, say that. Oh, go ahead. Wanted to tell. Just wanted to tell Chris and Jared. I got to level thirteen in Destiny last week. Oh, nice! You can join me anytime you see me online. I'll help you get through the campaign. I actually saw someone that I was friends with in real life, but not in Blizzard. <laughs> Go past me. That's pretty <laughs> funny. On IO and send him a face message. It's like, yeah, that was probably me. That's great. I was like, that was weird. Nice. Um, so I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to roll this deception check. And if I don't pass it, uh, then I will use my bonus action to cast this spell. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, that's totally. You could absolutely do that. It's still your turn. All right, so let me do that. Like, why, though? Advantage. Advantage. Let's roll again. Do it the same, but uh, better. <laughs> yeah, do the same thing, but do it again. And with a bigger That's what number. That's said. It's a little... Eight. And your modifier is... It's four charisma is zero. Well, yeah, for deception, it's definitely zero. You don't have it. You don't have proficiency in it, so it doesn't apply a modifier unless you have proficiency, anyways. Mm, yeah. So what are you yeah, grumpy really... about, Godwin? What are you grumpy about? So I guess what I, I'm just waiting to see on whether or not they does that fail or doesn't so, eight fail for yeah, be against their passive perception. Yeah, it would, even in the situation where you have advantage, you're still, you're like, I'm a, um, what did you say? It was a luggage type. Samsonite? I'm Samsonite. And the the leader, who was the one who pointed his sword and asked you that question, you could tell by the look at his face that he does not believe you. So maybe someone else has used the Samsonite line on him before. That's, yeah. a, that's a famous dwarven family, and you're a half elf. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> the bartender knows. <laughs> well, yes. she knew it wasn't a dwarf brew. Uh, okay, so I guess um, he's he seems like he's pissed. They're all uh, pissed. And, They're all and drawn he sword. also and he also doesn't believe me. Um, so I, I think what I'll do is then, I guess, yeah, use my bonus action to, um, summon a bear spirit and I'll just be like, well, that obviously didn't work. So here's this. And then I'll do that. All right. I have a bear. I'm going to bring the bear over here. Where do you put the bear? I will, uh, I'll give you control of it by clicking a few things. There we go. And you said there's an aura on it? That's so there's an aura feet? of 30, a 30 foot radius. Um, and so basically, uh, any creature that I choose within the aura. Um, gains hit points. They gain seven hit points, five plus my druid level. Um, they also have advantage on strength checks and saving throws. So it's temporary hit points, and it lasts for ten rounds. I want to put him on the table. Summon a bear spirit on the table in front of this man. 
I'm picturing like the uh, Hearthstone totem summoning thing. Yeah, describe this shit to me. What's this bear like? Basically, the way that I in like Winnie the Pooh it is like it's. Well, his name is Frank, and he's a Virgo. It's just... <laughs> Um, the way that I envisioned it is like, uh, like a Patronus. So like, like a white, like light, like glowing, like ethereal bear. All right. All right. Like take, takes, like takes form, uh, on the table and just starts like stomping and roaring and, um, right. kind of like it obviously it, it can't attack, but it is making something. Boy. Right, so Talison comes in the room and you know he he's asked he's just been asked who are you, and his response throws up his hands. I'm uh, Samsonite. I'm just here for a drink. And after seeing the the look on the the red brand's face, he pointed the sword at him. He instead throws his hands out, summons his bear spirit, this ethereal ethereal bear this like bluish white energy forming up to be the shape of this bear standing on the table in the center of the room believe it or not i have yes. a magic card for ethereal bear <laughs> spirit and here it is nice nice the bear um, umbra so that would give all of us and i don't know if i can in can i include the snake in that because it's any creature of my choice and i don't know if the snake is going to choose to help us is, but... it, li is it line of sight it just says aura. It's just an aura. aura? Then yes. Yeah. So yeah, it just, it all of us you can choose any allies. Yeah. All of us includes. Well, it says to me, uh, each, you cre and your each creature of your choice. Yeah. The line before that, I think it has the word allies in it. Okay, you and your allies. Okay, okay. rules, lawyer. We got it. We got it. All right. Um, well, I mean, the snake might be my ally. I don't know. Um, no, it's fine. The snake doesn't get it. Um, but all of us get seven plus seven hit points extra right now, yeah. and then, yep. um, and then we also have advantage on strength saving throws and checks. All right, so that puts us. Uh, PB, are you back with us? I just want to double check. Yeah, I'm. I'm here. Can you see me? All right, cool. No, we haven't been able to see you this whole time. Just. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yo, I've been here the whole time. All right, sweet. <laughs> Hold on. Let yeah, me. Just, uh, let I've me been looking at this. I'm assuming Pokemon. What? I'm assuming that's an image of a Pokemon. That's a magic card. Okay. I'm surprised. <laughs> but, uh, so... I'll explain later, if any, if you want to. Anyway, so seven temporary hit points. Okay. Yeah, everyone has seven temporary hit points. Um, the next person in the order is this, uh... Red okay, Red is that... No, we don't. I don't see it. Does anyone else see him? You are still oh. a rocket squid. <gasps> so yes. I just messed up my hit points. What'd you do? What did you... I tried uh, to add? Uh... I just did you, if you add seven permanent, just go ahead so and yeah, uh, you're take that more. off and put seven at oh my God, on ten. So yeah, so you don't edit. You don't edit your character, which is what you've done. Do you want me to fix it, or you got it? Yeah, fix it. Fix it. All right. It's 15. I'll say, if I have I mean, what you do, to do it, I don't. Buddy, buddy so. what you do is you go to your sheet. This is just for everybody. When you're going to add temporary hit points on your sheet, next to your HP is a spot for temp, and you yep. all are going to add seven into that number, and I just did it for you, Chris. Mm -hmm. So if you refresh well, your that's page. What I, that's what I tried to do. No, you it's literally like one more block to the right. Hey, there it is. I may not have done it right, but that is what I tried to do. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I believe so, you. Yeah, you just okay. So block. I just so you guys can see me now, right? Yeah. Hey, here you are, yes, buddy. But we're all here. The party's back. I was gonna say, like, between being t pushed to talk and uh, I could see myself just fine. So I thought everybody could see like all of my reactions. Hmm. Nope. I've been there. Yeah, we've been here. I mean, I've been in the same situation before. So, what has just happened? Oh, yeah, we can't see Godwald caught, either. Did everybody catch this? You what? Yeah, I can see Godwald. Yeah, I can see you Godwald can? too. Yeah. Oh, I'll refresh. So, what has just happened is it was Talison's turn. He was pointed at. Someone said, What's your name? Who are you? So, everybody's been freaked out by this giant snake that has rolled up into the room. 
Talison threw up his arms and says, I'm the luggage. And Samsonite. <laughs> Samsonite, right? Thank you. Samsonite. Of the and, Samsonites. Yeah, of the Samsonite family, which just happens to be a famous dwarf family, and he's a half elf, so no one believed him. And uh, then instead of doing nothing, he summoned his great bear spirit here in the center of the room. Level and, two class feature. Yeah. And uh, it is the next. It is the next red brand's turn. Who is the one who has chased the, uh, chased the snake out the door, and he will continue actually to just move one more step towards it and attack the giant snake. He and his friend were really freaked out about this, <laughs> so he uses his attack with disadvantage on a giant poisonous snake, who. Oof, with disadvantage, misses and takes a swipe at it. And then, ah, yells. <laughs> Just really wanted to hit that. Giant Snake then takes its attack on the Red Rand who just attacked him. But with an 18, hits and yeah. bites, bites, the, bites the man with 18 plus 6. So he super bites the man. And he does yeah. a 1d4 plus 4 damage on the guy. So if only the crit threshold was lower. Eight damage to the Red Brand Ruffian. This hurts him quite a bit. Which one of these boys is double poisoned? Nobody's double poisoned. That's not a stat. Uh, who's who's uh, been poisoned with the, the potion? I will throw an extra, extra <laughs> also jerk. on this guy. I he cannot also... see you. Can everybody else see him? Not since you refreshed, no. Um, there. That guy, my, has, that guy has a potion effect on him. Do you see him, Chris? Like, Question, uh, so the giant poisonous snake, um, ah, I see him. does the 1d4 plus 4 piercing, but it also does 3d6 poison damage. Yes. We have to, okay, so, yes. <laughs> oh, we were still in that attack. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're I, still I, in I just... the attack while it's, it's right. right. but but no, you're you're right. It does do a three to six poison damage. He takes that eight. And wow. Welcome back. I'm back. Wow. Yeah. All right, you guys are gonna like this. You're fully back. Uh, we all good. With the eleven damage. Uh so this red brand ruffian who charges out of the room in order to attempt to kill kill this giant snake. Uh takes a sword swipe at it and then the giant poisonous snake who dodges it deftly does a little step back a little, you know curl up and then strike in return bites the man who just falls dead no you have one dead man outside the bar <laughs> yeah go snake. I see, so, yeah. so I, I i see fangs the size of my index finger plunge into this dude <laughs> Yeah, this is a big snake. I mean, it's like a medium creature for a beast, but for a snake, it's gigantic. Uh, which follows us up with Redbrand Ruffian 11, who just watched his friend uh, be struck dead by the snake. And um, he chooses not to attack the same animal and instead holds his position with his sword drawn uh, worrying about the snake attacking him next and yells out his friend's name. Well, Gotho! <laughs> well, Gotho. That's his friend's name. He's very sad about his dead friend, Well, Gotho. We'll make sure that gets on the tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> write that down. Puts us at red head. <laughs> Ten. Oh my god, you guys need to do stuff in between these rounds. Oh, do you want to mark him dead? Oh yeah, sure. Marked what for up? death. Marked for death. He's got his X's. He's got his skull. Oh yeah. Him. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move your bear to the mm. map later, so it's. Oh nope. Can't see it then. I was really hoping that aura would be available. All right. Yeah, it's just. That's fine. We can just keep checking if we're within like six squares of the bear. <laughs> yeah, you guys are fine with where it's at. Um, Red Brand 10, hearing the shouts and uh, 
This one death eight. throws. Yeah, the death throws of his friend charges outside to see his to see his dead friend and the snake in front of him. And he's Where'd they start? He looks and he looks and says, it's like, what the fuck happened? Pointing his sword at Pubert and turning to his friend. I... And he's also seen this giant bear outside. He's scared. Yeah, all right. So Snake. this is a weird thing. He does not quite understand the things he's seeing in front of him, but I'm not going to give him that. Snake. Well, he saw, he saw the bear inside the snake outside. Snake's attack has reach, but he's already used his action. No, you said that you said he saw a bear outside. Well, no, he saw the bear inside. And yeah, then he ran outside, said. and he is he just points his sword at Pew Bear, and then asks the other ruffian to his left what happened, and he's stopping there because he's confused and drunk at the magic and the animals and the death. Oh shit. I haven't had a chance to draw my sword either. But he's he's sitting there holding his action at Pubair if something were to happen. Which moves us to Redbrand 9, who is poisoned with the magical, peculiar puking potion. Do you want to roll me the die for that? Oh, yes. All right. Roll me your, what is it, a d20? 12. I feel like we've seen 12 before. Mm, I don't think so. I think I was supposed to be roll a d12. Oh, uh, let me look it up. Uh, no, roll a d12 was for the number of ducklings. Okay. Uh, so, items, let me find it. Yeah, it's a, a d20. It's a 12. Chair. A well-crafted chair. <laughs> so, as he's standing there for his action, Red Brand Ruffian number nine starts vomiting, lurching forward, and and then you just like it's it almost makes no sense how it's possible for his mouth to open in the way it is, and for this object to fall out of him in the way that it is, uh, and it's it a very finely crafted chair, much nicer than the one that he was sitting on, it comes out of his mouth. He is. He is surprised for the next round. So. Where? <laughs> How do I even say it? Let's yeah. mark, yeah, he's right here. He's he's poisoned and surprised. What's going to be a good surprise icon? It's going to be this no symbol. The no symbol is going to indicate that he can't move the next round. All right. Red brand Would number eight. A, the appropriate size. What? That what I posted in the chat in the chat finally crafted yeah. here you know what yeah, I, don't, I mean maybe to, maybe, to it, gnome, it, maybe to the gnome maybe to the gnome that's what i'm saying like, like in, si the, in size comparison uh, to the gnome would it the, probably be that big yeah in comparison to the gnome it would be because the snake as a giant snake is a medium creature and she's small so yep. it, it that is that reminds me of it something is I'll bigger say than her so okay so well, that's fair little... red brand number eight the apparent leader of them, who's calling the shots and has just now has seen this bear attack, or this bear appear in front of him after he asked who this man was and decided he was lying. Um, he's gonna swipe his sword at the bear. Does it do anything? No. Okay. It can't. I mean, right? Like, let me double. Let's just double check. Nature I mean, spirit. I can see it's a bonus action, some incorporeal, so it shouldn't affect it. To feed of you counts as neither a creature nor an object. So he, as his action, he swings his sword desperately at this bear creature that's appeared in front of him after How giant snakes appeared in the room and he's hearing all this screaming outside. Um, man. He makes two attacks on it. And after neither of them do anything, he realizes it's not an object, and he moves forward to this side of the room to try and take some advantage of position. Which moves us down right. to Pubert, 
standing outside. Man has run out the door, pointed a sword at you, and said, what the fuck is going on? And his friend just ran out before him and died in, on the street. <laughs> a giant snake attacked him. Giant snake. Giant poison. That's a, that's a rough night. These guys Remember, are... when you go out drinking with people you don't trust, bring your can of snake repellent. Yeah, and your potion of vomit up random stuff. Yeah, peculiar puking potion. Does pepper spray work on snakes? It probably would. I mean, they do smell things very well, so. You can ask Google. Sorry, oh. whose turn is it? Pew Bears. Pew Bear. Pew Bears. Okay, so the I don't have my sword drawn, and the guy's got his sword pointed at me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow my eyes. Is he shorter than me? How tall is he? I'm going to roll a d6. Oh, yeah, that's super important. And just for the record, pepper He's six spray foot tall. does not work on snakes. Hmm. They uh, have, so it's uh, not really... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to narrow my eyes at him, look real close at him, and just say in my deepest voice possible, flee. I'm going to cast uh, command. That's not, Is that how command works? <laughs> yeah, it's a, verbal, it's a verbal component, and I can say, I can basically give him a one-word command. So he's going to do a wisdom saving throw, or follow your command. Nice. All right, here goes. He gets a five with his modifier. Noise. <laughs> yeah, I believe that fails your... What's your wisdom save there on that? It would be 13? Uh, 13. So, yeah, so he well, he well misses that. I gotta read this just briefly. Right one. Uh. Oh, and then flee. Okay, so he is under the effect of your flea command. Jeebus. I gotta, I'm going to go let my dog out real quick. He's bothering me. I think he wants to go outside. Is that cool? Yeah, go for it. Go for it, man. All right. So he's under the under the influence of your flea command. So that's your action. Is there anything you want to do? We're doing... Interactions as bonus actions, so you could draw your sword. Okay, I'll draw my sword, and if I still have movement, I'd like to maybe move up. Probably right about. Uh... Attack of opportunity. You I got. Uh... Would but would he attack with opportunity if he was following this flea command? Spent its turn. It's not his turn yet because he's Red Baron Ruffian 10. Close to see. He did just go. He held his action to attack if somebody looked violent at him, but he went under the effect of the spell. I'm going to roll a d20. <laughs> if it is, you know, I'm going to roll it on screen. If it is Makes sense. 10 or lower, then we'll say. This he did not, and if it does, he'll try and attack you. He'll he'll try and attack you as you pass by him, and uh, he does not make that attack because that is under your AC. It was a fifteen. You're eighteen, right? Yep. He he does though. He attacks. He clang right off your armor, and you move right past him. So then, is that that's your action and your movement? So Renbrad Five, who's the hanging out with the leader, I just watched him in, and has seen this luminous bear spirit be summoned in front of him. Uh, also, his friends running out there. He's pulled his sword, has heard screaming, and is just ready to. I'm gonna say he's ready to attack people that aren't his friends. He watched this bear not be attacked, so he's gonna move in here. Close to Pew Bear. Also, you guys, remember your plus D4 on everything, because everybody's blessed. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Papa yeah. Bless. Yeah, Papa Bless. And uh, 
he's going to attack the giant arbored man who just ran into the room. So that'll be his short sword. Melee attack. Ooh, mm. it is 17 plus 4. I believe that Ooh, does that hit. Hits. 23 does hit Pubert with his bonus hit points, so don't forget those. Wait, uh, what? From your bear oh, spirit. Yes. Your bear spirit. that happened while you were out. Everyone within yeah. six squares of the bear received seven temporary hit points. For the why? Because... Wait, Allison, who asked why? Allison, you're the one who... Cast that cast spell. Yeah, bear. Bear. I, I'm aware that I'm the one that cast the bear, but the bear only gives bonuses to the people that are my allies. Yeah, he was in the room, but he was just away from keyboard at the time. Is Pubert not? Oh, I I thought I thought you were. My, I'm sorry. No, I thought you 10. were saying that okay. the fucking red brand got it. I was no, like, no, you good, you good. Two, he okay. does two plus two. He does four damage. Pubert. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I don't even have your temp hit points on the character on this one. Um, so, how, so oh, quick question: God. Would his attack? trigger my reaction for having my bow ready for the first time that Red Baron ran that attacked our party. Hold on just a second. Please hold on to that. And I okay. do I'm gonna answer that next. You everybody got seven bonus hit points on this? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, so twenty two plus seven is twenty nine. And then minus your four means you take you're at twenty five. Jerk went from fifteen to Plus seven, 21. 22. 22. 22, thank you. I'm bad with math, Thanks. so I'm I'm here to ask questions. Oh, you're it's you're Allison, oh, that's 17. Smart. Yeah, I'm marking the characters on here. You're 17 plus seven makes you 24. Is that right? Yes. And then Sparkle Jam, you were 15 plus your... Yeah, I'm at 22. I already marked down my... Right. Yeah. Thank you. I, you know, I guess I could just look at your sheets instead of adding it to this, but I, I use the characters on that screen. i probably stop doing that now that I have encountered this situation. Uh, and then 17 plus, that is... Uh, we're actually... Okay. We can right, so edit that everybody. number ourselves. So you could just have us do it. On the characters... Yes. Yeah, All right, cool. I can do that on the character I have control over. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, in the future, then I might ask to do that, but I think I've done it for everybody here. Uh, and in the future, honestly, I'll probably just keep it on your character sheets and oh, look hey, at them. Look at that. We can't right? do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just do it that way. That was the one after him, which means we have Red Brand Ruffian 6, who's also here in the room doing it. We've seen attacks and bears and bear misses and attacks on giant armored men and the giant armored men are just rain in front of him. He's also going to attack him and not the guy who he thinks might not be such a bad guy but is probably stupid for walking into the bar. So he's going to attack the bear instead. With a short sword. Eight plus four, twelve. That misses your AC. He's not hit. Now it is. Oh my god. God, you guys all rolled low. Red Brand 6. 7. Grista. Grista is like, this is your dwarven barkeep. Mm -hmm. She's like, just shouts, stop fighting in my bar! And moves out behind it. Behind the bar here. Continuing to shout like, fucking Red Brands. <laughs> <laughs> and then it makes Jerk's turn. Jerk, what do you do? Well, dudes. Sneak attack this guy. Right, so you just you attack that guy? Yep. You uh, move towards him and use your daggers? Yeah. Well, I'm going to sneak Pull. attack with both my daggers. Okay, so your character doesn't actually So you Actually, got, it was a, it was the dagger and a rapier. That's what I sneak attack with. Right, and you, you're using weapons. you're using the rapier in your main hand and the dagger as an off attack. Yep. 
Okay, so roll me two attack rolls. You doing the same time or doing one after the other? Your choice. Doing one after another. 16. Main hand? Main hand. All right, it'll be 16 plus 3, 19. Okay, what's your next one? 16 offhand. 16 offhand? Both of those Dang. attacks hit. Do me your damage yep. with the rapier. 1d8 plus 3. Yeah, because the first, because those are both, it was like 19 and 16. Oh, those are good. Oh, don't forget your uh, plus, plus 4, four for four. being Oh, blessed. yeah, plus 4 on your damage, right? Plus 1d6 on for plus? sneak attack. Oh, you know what? Is it his attack roll or is it his damage? This is attack roll. What's blessed? Quick. Godwald. Rolls and saves. Okay. So, so not damage. So you would have added to both of those rolls, but they both succeeded anyways, so you're blessed all right. on that attack. Let's all remember that in the next move. And you roll your damage with your rapier, 1d8 plus 3. Yeah, that'd be a, a, a 4. 4 then. damage on the ruffian. Plus the sneak well, attack plus damage. Sneak plus attack your attack sneak attack it. damage is... 1d6. Another, another d6, so roll another d6. Me. Minus one. All right. You still hurt. Now roll damage for the second. Roll damage for your dagger. One d four plus three. Four, four. Seven. Seven damage on that. All right. Now, do I get sneak attack on that second do attack you, roll? You would, wouldn't you? Uh, no, because no? I'm pretty sure it's once per turn. Yeah, once but per this turn. Is a, no, it is. It's once per turn. She's right. But you but still this got. Is, this is two handed fighting, though. So both of these attacks are happening at the same time during this turn. This isn't two handed fighting. This is just. Right. You're using two weapons. You don't get the bonus well, on them, and your sneak attack is once per turn. Trust me, I wish it was. It's all right. It's all right. You have hurt this man greatly. You have well, I just, cut I just him, want to be and he is bleeding and damaged. On my uh, my sheet, I've got a bonus action, actions in combat, two weapon fighting. Yeah. You can take a bonus mm -hmm. action on each of your turns to take the dash to engage. Your, oh, all right. Like, if you click two weapon fighting, it says the second attack is a different attack. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the way it works, for the future, so there are certain characters who have the ability to fight with two weapons and two hands. Everybody has the ability to hold two weapons and attack with them. Okay. But if you don't have an advantage, like you're not a fighter who has the ability to fight with two weapons at the same time, the second one doesn't gain your bonuses. And in this institution, in, in this, in the case of your sneak attack, it's only once per turn. So okay, you keep it. So but you him. did a lot of. You actually did more damage with your offhand weapon the second time than you did with yours the first time, which is cool. This guy is bleeding, hurt, and does not look well. Okay. The stabbing. The stabbing has occurred. Um, so then we move on, unless you're moving anywhere anymore. If you move away, opportunities, I probably don't. Yeah. Well, do I. Disengage bonus action? Yeah, I kind of want to disengage. Yeah, that you was... can. Okay. Or can mm. I. Yeah, I'll disengage. Well. Yeah, uh, damn it. Okay, so your bonus action was used by your second attack, which did most of your damage. Okay, we'll forget it then. I'll just yeah. stand there. Just hang on, like you're probably fine. Godwald, you're up. Okay, so this guy's dead. Yep. This yeah, guy's so been commanded to flee, mm -hmm. but hasn't been wounded in my seeing. That's true. Well, but you that also, also depends. Here. We never answered my question on if I got triggered or not from oh, him attacking through Pubert. Thank you. You did have your bow drawn until the end of your turn, so you were waiting to see if somebody drew their weapon. Attacked, and attacked. a party member. So when he right. did attack the party member, it would have triggered the reaction. So real quick, roll me that damage. Godwald start talking about what you're doing. Oh, okay. Ten. So D ten to attack with my bow. So plus your proficiency, and then Godwald. Hmm. While yes. we're doing this, 
What are you What are you doing? Thirteen. I, uh, I don't think that hits. Just shy. Okay. okay. I think I'd like to get a better look at what's going on in there. All right. So I'll start going over here. And you get to the window. So these two are fighting these dudes. So it's three on four in there. They're pretty much holding their own. It's yeah. Two on two out here. They have been mm. so far. Yeah. Only one person inside looks injured. Super injured. Actually, quite a bit. He does not look good. Let's see. Look at my options. Hmm, does it say? Uh, I, I guess I'll just do Toll the Dead at number 11. At number 11? All yeah. right. Let's see. That is a wisdom saving throw on their behalf. Yes. So they have disadvantage because the intoxication. You probably don't want that one. So eight does not beat your spell save DC, if I'm correct. Correct. So he takes damage. Roll if damage. the target is, is the target missing any of its hit points? Not Red Brand Ruffian 11, nor Red Brand Ruffian 10. Seven's missing all of his hit points. Mm. <laughs> that much to number 11. All right, he takes... Eight damage and oh wait that would have been seventeen because oh plus well your attack would have made well it doesn't really have a bonus yeah. on it yeah because it's a saving throw on the other guy's part uh, but he does take eight damage and as he hears the bells you see him do the thing where he closes his eyes and shakes and hurts and kind of kneels cr cringing at the pain this is not. Looks like it hurt him quite a bit. Mm. And that's... I think that's it. Everybody's right. doing pretty well. Alright, Sparkle Gem, you're up. <clears throat> I mean, I obviously hear fighting and commotion inside, I assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've heard you've heard noises, you've heard people like shouting, running out of the bar, you've heard people around, what's your name? And then and then uh, and then suddenly the sound okay. of the sound of this magic bear being summoned. I'm going to fall back over here and then shoot that one with my bow. Or band roughly in eleven. Alright. Give me your attack roll with the D four bonus. So nine that. plus your D4. Blessed. Three plus three Slow. for attack is 15. 15 hits. And with, and that would not be sneak attack damage. Yeah, he doesn't have any enemies nearby. So I think that's 1D8 plus something, if I'm not mistaken. 1D6 one yeah. plus one. 1D6 one plus one? Five. Five damage takes a hit and is looking very rough. Does he's he taking some damage the the bleeding through his ears is more prominent now, but also the arrow sticking out of his his chest is an indicator that he is not doing well. And so as he bleeds, they're gonna move her. Um no, I'm just going to chill because I'm pretty sure I'm out of uh, run from everybody, like out of range from everybody. So we're good. Yeah. All right. That brings us back to the top of the Hide order. Tell the sin. Yes. Hide okay. your box. Just, she puts, she's yeah. been carrying the box the whole time. She puts so the over top. Of it. This dude is dead. Yes. Th this guy's feared. He's going to flee. That here guy will be. 
uh, running away from Bubera next turn. That guy has taken two hits this round. He's damaged. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's damaged a lot. This, this dude's damaged a lot. This dude is puking up a chair. Yeah, he just that's that's what's happening to him in this moment. This guy is nothing has happened to him, and this guy is nothing has happened to him, right? Yep, that's right. All right. Ruffian number eight's the one that pointed his sword at you and asked what your name was. The one standing right in front of me, right? No, or no, the one no. that's off to the left of me. Yep. Okay. Uh, that would be fun to do, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so let's see here. I am proficient with this. What would that roll off? What would that go off of? If I attack with my scimitars, is that would that be strength or dex? What is it on your? I'm try. proficient in it. Um, I have two scimitars. It is not a finesse, so a... quarter st quarter staff is only strength. Your hit is plus four on them. I'm looking on your sheet. Yeah, yep, yep. It is, yeah, martial, finesse, light. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to attack him, and then, can can you, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use uh, my bonus action in combat to attack him with the second weapon. Okay. So roll um, me your first attack. Eleven plus four. Fifteen hits. Plus another four because I'm blessed. Plus a D four, right? So, you, but it fifteen yeah. hit already. So okay, yeah. So then the second one. Nineteen, 19. plus a D four is gonna hit as well. So both mm -hmm. of those attack hits. Uh, you want to roll me right. the first D six plus two, and then the second is just a D six. Plus dose. Four plus two, which is six. Six damage. And then another D6. Skidoosh. Nice. Five. Yeah. So that's like 11 damage. So as Tails and magical bear spirit has appeared in the center of the room and thrown more confusion into this already bizarre situation for these red brains, these local thugs. He takes one of his scimitars that he's pulled off the goblins, slices him up just hard as the first hit, thinking, oh, that's going to kill him and does damage, but he's bleeding. Not enough. He throws another scimitar strike at him, actually hurting him even more. And now two of these men are I'm bleeding profusely here <laughs> in the bar. <laughs> Are you gonna move or anything or um No. Alright. Well let's see. Red Branch seven is dead. The snake is here who just kind of slides a little bit off in the ways. I'm like, I didn't I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Just it's whistling a little to him side. as he's uh, trying to walk away. No, snake it friend. has to be snakes. <laughs> and that gives us Red Brand 11, the man who was hit and damaged and hurt. Ah, uh, fuck. He has seen his friends die to a giant snake, and a large armored man shout at his buddy to get out of here. And so he's going to move forward and attack Godwald. Yep. In an act of desperation. That's yep. the closest person here. He throws a short sword your way, and... Yep. 14? Hits. 14 hits? Yeah, I don't have my shield right now. Uh, Alright. And then that does 1d6. It does 4 damage. I take it on the temp. Take it on the temp. He hits you. You don't even really seem to be bothered by his sword strike. It's 
frustrating to him for sure. <laughs> Especially in his weakened state. Thought he'd hit you harder, but he just can't pull it off. Uh, which puts us at red brand number 10, who I'm pretty sure has to flee and really doesn't have a choice in this situation. Well, it's away from Pubert, and I don't know where Pubert is at this point. He's on this map. inside, so he's going to run. Does he have to take the dash action with that, or is it? I mean, if it says spends whole turn. Spends his turn moving away. So he's going to move 30 feet in the direction opposite of Pubert. And he's right straight up from him. So. This man runs away from him. Gets out of the door. <laughs> That's right. Out. You know what's good for you. He does use his turn. He's like, oh shit, this is bad news. He gets out of dodge. Right behind number nine, <laughs> who has just vomited up a chair, a very finely get- crafted chair. Can I get a token for the chair? Yeah, maybe. Uh, he has <laughs> just vomited the up a chair, <laughs> a very finely crafted chair. It's not that one. That one's a broken chair. This one doesn't look finely crafted. All right. He throws up this, he vomits this finely crafted chair. It's got a nice little cushion on the bottom. It's just ornate woodwork on the back confused as all goodness, but he's also seen a bunch of fighting happening in and around him. And he wants to... He's joined in. He draws his sword. He Isn't he surprised so he can't do anything? That's what that he did the last, last round. That was the last okay. round. Yeah. I just see the surprise marker. So. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're right. welcome. I should remove that from the guy. I'll do that. Surprise, the no move actions off of him. But he is still going to vomit once every 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and he moves around the table. Five, ten, moves to the side and attacks the first person nearest him as he sees this fight going on. Bear, you're the victim today, <laughs> the center of attention. I'm so pretty. And he rolls a, so pretty. He rolls a 14, which I don't believe hits. So he just also like sword slash glances off of you. Your armor protects you from this attack. And red brand eight, who is generally considered their leader, has uh, taken the initiative on these. Sees things not going well, and want to move. Wants to move through his friends to the door. 5, 10, 15, 20. Moves 20 to the door to be able to see out. Sees it there and attacks Talison with on his way out. He's trying to get his, trying to really maneuver himself out the door. Which is a 16. So I want to throw this out there. Um, I have the defender fighting style. So if he's trying to attack somebody, Within uh, five feet of me, I, I basically get to impose disadvantage on that attack. Oh. I yeah. I believe we would also both get attack of opportunity because he's moving past us. He isn't past you yet. He moved to a spot kind of through us, right behind you. I mean, if he moved out of the square, he would, which is his next move. Okay. Sure. It's because it's what he wants to do is to like move in, attack you, and then get out. But he does, but you're saying with this commander, he gets a disadvantage, so. Ooh. Well, he wrote, he rolled a what? Well, he got a 16 the first time with his bonus, mm-hmm. but this time he only gets a five. Dang. And actually, you know what? They all oh, had advantage so far. Okay, so he misses his attack and then is going to attempt to run out. So both. Hubert and Talison get an attack of opportunity. So as I move him here to the door, why don't you guys roll me both of those? Whatever weapon you have in hand. Uh, so I've got a quick question before uh, I roll my attack here. So I've got the martial adept feat, and I'm wondering, can I use my uh, my maneuvers per 
um, with a, could I use my maneuvers with a, uh, wow, Joe, focus, with a attack of opportunity? Uh, just for the sake of moving things along, yes, let's do it for now. We'll come back to it later. How's that sound? Good. Sounds good. Actually, I'm looking at it. It says a weapon attack, so I guess it would. All right, yeah. Because I'd like to expend a maneuver to try to push him back to where he came from. Two maneuvers. You try God, well, we see your mouse movement, but I do not hear you. Dang it, that keeps happening. Okay, we can hear <laughs> you now, but... They have disadvantage, Sparkle Gem. Okay. So they gotten some they gotten some lucky rolls in here. I'm surprised, but Okay. Well, so what? Uh, I need to roll a D six. To well you so he's running out. So it's this guy right here, right? Right, Brandon right. Yep. eight. He just rolled to attack and he missed you. And mm -hmm. he's gonna try and move away. He's just trying to move out of the door here. Um, yes. so you guys get attack of opportunity on him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and, make your and you're talking first. about this martial adept. I'm trying to read it, but uh, do you want me to wait then before I roll this or roll your uh, sword? What, would, D20. would this affect other people? I'm not familiar with it. Would you, you bear? Hold on, can you hear me? I can hear you yes. now. Okay, I totally lost audio there for about um, a few seconds. I see you, uh, superiority you die, a D6, this die add, added to any spirit from another source. So so how does this work? It's, it's a weapon attack. You get a bonus here? Uh, so I get the... Um, it, do, it doesn't affect basic, whether the weapon hits. Yeah, no, you're still just yeah, rolling it, your attack. It, yeah, it's just an attack. Um, and then what they do is they uh, they have to make a saving throw versus DC 12. And um, with the pushing attack, yeah, they uh, yeah they have to make a, a strength saving throw. Um. Oh, okay. So you're trying to shove him down. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like push him back the direction he came from. Okay, so that's what you're doing as your attack of opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm to hit him like this way. And Talison, also... are you imagining you're just attacking him? I'm just going to attack him. Um, he also gets plus four to strength S strength checks, though. Because of the bear. Yeah, so it'll be oh, eight, the... eight plus his proficiency bonus plus his strength modifier plus a d4. So, the mm -hmm. bear, roll me a d4 on that, and Talison, roll me your d20. So, that's your one on top of your bonuses. Talison, your d20. 11, what, do you have attack modifier on your sword? Or uh, plus 4. Plus 4, so 15 hits. Roll me damage on your scythe, and he would not make this, it's almost going kind to of be impossible for him to beat your, so you get a, you get a 1, one plus damage? Two. Plus 2. Plus 2, so you get three, 3 damage on him, and you knock him down, I can't even imagine. <laughs> uh, that he saves this at all because it's what eight plus your proficiency bonus in strength, so your athletics plus your strength modif. No, so it's just all right. Shit, dude. It'd be eight plus his strength mod of two. Eight plus his proficiency bonus two plus his strength modifier. Another two, so that would be twelve. Plus, so, the four. plus the four. Plus the four. Three. Fifteen. And he has to make a saving throw, which he has disadvantage on. Twelve and eleven. You beat him. You shove him to the ground. After he's s s <laughs> sliced with a scythe. <laughs> you guys have not let this man leave the bar. <laughs> he wanted out. And then it puts it, Pubert, at your turn. So you're surrounded by a puking chairman, uh, a, a damaged 
profusely bleeding man and another uh, profusely uh, yeah, bleeding Yeah, two profusely be bleeding men and your friend. So the guy who's who just we shoved him down, is it pretty clear he's the leader? I mean, he yeah, seems I to be so. like of this group. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I love you. What? Nice. Yes, he is brown. You're right, Sparkle Jim. Okay, can we get that marked so yeah. that way we know we have advantage against that guy? You should try, Pierre. You should try to do like the link down stab on him. On the leader, I figured we'd want to keep him uh, alive for questioning. That's true. That's you know that that's a smart move. That's usually <laughs> something I would say. Who's um, who's the least damage out of the three? The other three. I think it's the leader. We're gonna call that the prone mark because I don't know okay. what else to call the prone mark. I mean the the other three, not the leader. Uh, so there's the three inside. There's two, two bleeding men and one who just vomited up a chair. But he actually looks fine. Other than that, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna and, ruin his and day. And you are further. surrounded. You are surrounded by these men. Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are gonna ruin his life. So the 20 plus your modifier hits for sure. And on Red Band Ruffy and 9, this guy right here, is that right? Yep, that's the one. All right. So your damage on that is... Longsword D8 plus 2. So 6 damage on the longsword. Takes a nice... Yep. Takes a nice hit, does not like it, does not, is, he hasn't been feeling good since before he <laughs> threw up a chair, a fine chair, and it's not, yeah. but it, compared to his profusely bleeding friends, he looks okay. He did not like this attack, though, it hurt him. Um, I did a stab. So, do you do anything else with your turn? Good old stab. Um... No, I can only attack the one time. Um, so I am. All right. I, I'm going to stay there. Stay there in the center. Uh, the man who just saw you attack his friend, Red Brand Ruffian number nine, this guy right here, he will take another swipe at you as he just saw you attack your friend, his friend, with his disadvantage. He absolutely misses. He just kind of stumbles back. Uh, <laughs> intoxicated. It was not been of a good day for him. And he kind of bumps back into the chair, losing his balance, standing there. So he's not going to move. He's lost his footing. She puts us at number yeah. six, who has also seen this and just been attacked profusely from behind. They're like cut twice, just slices into his back. So he turns to attack. Jerk. Turns around, throws, throws a sword attack at you. Woo! With disadvantage, that was 15. That is 18, so 15. We're tied. Plus 15 plus 4, 19. 19 hits. Which means he does a d6 plus 2. He does 3 damage to you. Oh, dang. 3 damage on the... Uh, in the old temporary hit points. On the old temp hit points. Hey, that's, that's, that's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, that's rough. There's three there. So he hits you with his sword. and it's Most of these guys who are making these hits seeing nothing really happened to them. Or just, they're just confused. Like, uh, How does this work, Bear? How do you want to say this works? Do, do the wounds just heal or do they not hit in the first place? Um, I kind of want to... I kind of want it to be like, uh, do you remember how, like, in um, uh, Lord of the Rings, like, Lurtz gets fucking stabbed, and he just, like, grabs it and pulls it into himself and, like, laughs about it? Like, we're just, like, taking hits, but it's just not, it just isn't phasing us. It's not phasing us. All right. And we're just kind of like laughing at like not laughing it off because we probably are, are not that cocky. I mean, my character might do that, but 
Um, but yeah, it's just it's just kind of like, you know, brush it brush it off. All right. So so as this man turns around and throws a you know throws his sword into into Jerk, it's like hits him. It seems to do nothing to him with the damage in his arm, and he pulls it back and is just just a, another level of drunkenly confused continuation of the, the this entire evening of disaster for him man you guys rolled so amazingly well who's six is six alive still oh, that was six that was six so that means it's grista the bartender's turn she takes a step out from behind the bar looks waving a like waving a mug at jerk and be like out of my bar! Get out of here! No fighting in the giant hill inn or whatever it's called. Stone? No, that was the inn. Fuck. Sleeping giant. The sleeping giant. Oh my god, thank you. The s- no fighting in the sleeping giant! And just just shake, just shaking this uh, just mug at Jerk. Jerk, it's your turn. Who's worse off? Um, actually, Hi, these guys are both terrible. Is this guy going to be able to get up and take off? Is he, is he in, like, okay condition? Their leader? The dude who got knocked down outside? Yeah. From your angle, he seems okay. You haven't seen him take any kind of damage from it. But you're also in a room with three other dudes. And a glowing bear spirit. <laughs> All right, so I could probably get to him and, and do a, uh, a sneak attack. On who? On their leader. You would take an attack of opportunity from the guy who just attacked you. Okay. Well, then I'll just kill him then. Okay. So I'm going for this dude right here. You going to do the old one-two? The old one-two. Or do you want to keep your action for disengage, your bonus action for disengage? Why don't you do your first attack? Okay. So that's, that's you three on top of you. No, that's life. that's that's not my attack. That was a that was a D four. That's a on top of your D twenty. So roll your D twenty because okay. you're All blessed. Right. Yay blessings! So fourteen 15? plus your attack action all right, beer five. So fourteen for you hit. Okay. Roll me damage on your first attack. The rapier is D8 plus... One D8 plus three. I feel like super... So you're so five, five. five damage, I believe. That ends the life of this red brand in front of you. It goes Yay! down with your rapier attack. Nice. You suffered the death status. So you still have a bonus action and movement. I turn around to the the bartender and I say, "You started this. You took all my gold." <laughs> and I turn back around and I just stare at the dead guy. All right, that was your your bonus action of an interaction speech, and you're not going yep, to move. It. With puts well, us I mean, down to while you what? Yeah, I'll just stay there because. I'll just make my myself a target going anywhere. Okay. That means it's Godwald's turn. Godwald. You injured, profusely bleeding man standing in front of you. And a man knocked prone on the ground. And then another dead guy next to that. Also a snake off to your right. Kind of behind you. Um, this is a guy in front of me that's been attacked twice and who attacked me. Yeah, and he's bleeding. So I don't feel particularly merciful here. Because the guy attacked me. Bahamut does not wish well upon him, I'm guessing. I, uh... I'm not going to bring Bahamut into this. I think I'm just going to try and <laughs> stab him. All right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try and stab him. Wait, you have a, aren't you using, like, a mace? No, no, I bought daggers last week, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, we broke because, him out of the baguette. Know, because, uh, like... 
it's easier to bring into a bar than a mace, I thought. All right. So you got to stab him with the dagger? Thirteen plus three is sixteen. It's his AC. So you hit. Roll me some damage. No, plus it would have been plus a D four, but that hits anyway. So, so you're. So just 18? two plus one is three. W wait, it's not on damage, is it? The bless. Sorry, that's my damage die. Oh, that's your damage die. So then that's yes. two plus three is what? Sorry, just two plus one is three. I just deal three damage for the main attack. You deal three damage to the man who now... Is that enough? ...falls dead in front of you. The wounds he had taken uh, exiting here have been enough to injure him profusely. You are now two dead men in front of you, Godwald. <laughs> I, uh... I passed the turn. All right. Next. I'd rather not try and wade through all of this. And I can still see through that my people are winning through the window. Yeah, you would, from there, yeah, you would see that Talison's doing just fine, that Jerk is doing fine as well, and actually Bear is doing okay. You, But you would see two injured yep. and, well, one injured and one dead man in the ring. Yeah. If you looked, so. But you use up your ash. Sparkle Gem, you're up. Yeah, I'm done. There's a man lying prone on the ground in front of you. He's been knocked over by a bear. And you hear a lot of commotion coming from inside. Also, you feel more stamina and tougher. Yeah. Tougher than usual. Especially for Felt a Felt like I was muted. So, um... I'm going to spend my movement to run ahead and climb on top of Godwald's shoulders and... Mm. Are you not comfortable with that? Uh, sure. I'm used to this at this point. <laughs> this is like more. This is like the third, fourth time. Yeah. She's, this she's, just happens. She's into climbing on people. Like whatever yeah. athletics save I would have to make for that, I have advantage on it. So. Well, we'll let it go. It just happens. So you, she's climbing you. We could make her do a deck save if you particularly wanted to. Yeah. At this point, we're used to it. Yeah. Okay, and so why do you want this? Yeah. Just yeah, so that why? so that way, next turn, I could rush past the guy I'm about to kill and go inside. You could just break this window right now. That's true. Or I don't just, necessarily or... have to be climbing on top of him. Nope. No, you don't have to be. It's also a guy on the <laughs> ground. People who are prone... So like, Actually, see, yeah, I'm just going to attack him with advantage with my bow. Well, so so I was actually about to say, so people who are prone have advantage on saving throws from ranged attacks, but disadvantage on melee. So, like, basically think of it like if someone's trying to shoot a bow at you, but you, like, drop down and lay it on the ground, you'd be a lot harder to hit, right? Right. So vice oh, versa, though, if you walk up next to them, though, and they're laying on the ground and you attack, you have advantage on them. So if you literally, like, ran up next to the guy and then attacked him, you'd have advantage on that attack. So I'll really use my bonus attack. action to dash, because otherwise I can't move through this way. Okay. And then attack with my rapier. All right. Would you have advantage on, so... Plus the D4 on the advantage. So. Uh, so whatever that is, plus a D4. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll your D4, just so we know oh, it, wait, in case you isn't somehow it roll advantage? another one. Yeah, so five right. on that roll. So roll another D20. Yep. Plus another D4. Six, three, four, five, and another four. And I only think I was my rapier. Oh, I do still have plus three, so... I still think a 12 total. 12, you still just miss. So you basically like run up to the guy, stab the rapier and down, and the armor just is enough to glance the damage off. It doesn't hurt him. All right. That's unfortunate. 
And I'm going to just chill because otherwise he gets attacked. I already used my bonus. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that puts us back at the top of the order. Talison inside the bar. You have a dead man, an injured man, and a man puking up chairs. Um. <laughs> um. And a bartender who's angry about fighting happening inside of her bar. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and I'm trying not to use any magic because I'm trying not to make too much of a mess. Um, so I, I'm going to um, attack him again. The guy, the in, front guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, well, let's see here. I cannot. Can I can't reach him. He's outside. So, mm. and, I, and I don't want to move away. It would be because, like a half cover because he is within five feet of you, but he is like kind of outside the door. So I would give him like the half cover. What's that like plus two AC on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would be a little. It would um, be harder to hit him, but you can reach him. <laughs> can I? Uh, okay, this is. But he stupid. has advantage, so all of those are negated, and it would just be a regular roll. This is stupid, but I kind of want to try to do this. Okay, right. can the can the snake hear me? Would would he be able to hear me? He or she? So if this is he, is this you, or is this you? This yeah, is this, me. This is him. Yeah. Maybe if you open the window. Uh, it does, well, the door is open, right? If you shout. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um. All right, I'm trying to think of how I could do this. Um, so I, I want to attack the guy in front of me, but I also want to use a bonus action to say to the snake. And I I just want to say, Nagini, dinner, and like meaning the dude who's <laughs> prone to see if the snake will try to go and eat that guy or attack it at least. Okay, so you're going to use your action uh, that you're saying, like, your bonus action interaction is uh, just a speech. I'm going yeah, to, to red snake. to just be like guy on the ground dinner. Yes. We will do a random roll to see if the guy, like, takes it or not. But, so go ahead and roll your attack. Okay. D20. You'll get caught up in that. Ooh. Wow. You have inspiration. I do. I'm going to use that. Go for it. Well, actually, that would have been 2 plus a d4, whatever you rolled on it. So 6 at least. But then the, right. your inspiration. Please work better than that. Okay, 13 plus, plus 4. Plus a d4. Plus a d4. Plus. Roll the d4. Oh, plus your 4. Plus my 4. Yeah, so plus that's 17. D4. That's already enough. Oh, your yeah. first attack would have been, what, 2 plus 4, 6 plus whatever the d4 was, so potentially 10, which still wasn't enough. But anyways, this... Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the 4 being blessed. 13, 4, 17 hits, so roll damage on that as a d6 plus 2. Hashtag blessed. Yes, it's very blessed. Get it. What's that? Two. It's kind of, okay. That's two. I love what? how it's just sitting on the edge, though. That's, I know. That's, that's weird. That's that's epically so, weird. For so this. four four damage. Yeah, four damage on him. Uh, is let's see. It's it hurts him, but it's not enough to end his life. He just hanging on by a thread, and. <laughs> And it wants to look like angry at you, but it's too too pained in order to do it. Uh, let's uh let's roll a random roll. You like said, "Hey dinner." Yeah. Let's see if the snake responds to you. I'm gonna say yeah. this is like a to coin toss. Zero. So what to do you ten. want me to roll? No, I'm rolling it. Zero to ten. Okay. He doesn't he really hear you or care. Eleven to twenty. He cares, and we'll see what happens. Really? He hears you. Nine. He hears you. Dinner. Mm, he's already been convinced to go into this place, and then all this other crazy shit happened. He's not super into the moment that's happening here. 
Mm. All right. Um, Damn, he doesn't get advantage either because he's not technically an ally. Um, but then that does move our giant snake as the next does, person on. He has does, been promised food if he gave some instruction to him, told to go outside and wait if there's more food. He's heard your heard your inclination saying dinner. Uh, to indicating the guy on the ground, but he didn't really respond to it. Uh, let's say he slithers forward. All right, Red Brand Eleven is he dead? Who is dead already? I was. Six can I ask? Dead. Yeah, go ahead. Can, does he get advantage on that roll because the guy is prone, or is it if just the random? If he went to the, attack him, but he did. If he went to attack him, okay, it, yeah. Yeah, if he All went right. to attack him, but he didn't attack him. Um, I'm moving you really fast. Eleven is dead. Dead. I'm crossing them all off of my sheet. Seven is dead. Crossed off of my sheet. Six is dead. Crossed off of my sheet. He is barely alive. And he has vomited up a chair. And he is just prone. <sighs> where's Red Brand 10? Red Brand 10, where are you? Oh, wait. He ran away. All right. He ran away. And he had been commanded to flee. And he fleed. He used his action to run away. He sees what's happening in the bar. And he uses his movement to go 10 feet, 20 feet. He is running away. He dashes, and he is dashing off. He's so going to go tell everybody else. Free. Running away. He is fleeing, as commanded. And if I remember the big map correctly, that way leads to the big manor. The yep, are. it leads to the manor. He was a 10, so we're at brand 9. The guy who was vomiting up a chair and watched, some, watched his friends die and watched his friend be injured in an attack is going to continue attacking if you bear this next to him. It's going to be his attack plus 4, 8, plus 4, 12 misses. Does not do damage to you. Sees the situation going awry and wants to also try to leave. Moves to the door. Sees... The guy whom he respects due to being a violent character on the ground tries to move past him, which is going to give Pubert and Talison an attack of opportunity on him. So, guys. Ooh. Fuck him up, guys. Go ahead and kill him it. so he doesn't get me. <laughs> Plus your D4, which uh, probably is not enough to hit anyone. Four. Plus the four oh. for being blessed. Yeah, so... Right. And What's then, your... um, plus, remember, hang on. How m- we have a lot of buffs right now. Plus we four. Have... So, no, we so have plus... seven plus four plus four. So seven plus eight yeah. is more than 14. That hits. Okay. And then go ahead and roll me damage on your long sword. 1d8. I'm using one monitor like a pleb. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. 1d8 plus 2. Oh! That's my stab. That's 10. That's 10. Boys and down. Bef- yeah, before you get the opportunity uh, to attack him, Talison, you see yet another man in this room die. And the bartender Dang. shrieks, Not in my bar! <laughs> She's throwing up her hands. She's very mad. But uh, that does definitely kill that, that red brand number nine. Red brand number nine will always remember you until next but, time. I think I tell her I'm reporting to the Better Business Bureau for overcharging me. Red brand number eight stands up after being knocked prone. Damage and he attempts to continue running away. He has seen this fight going south. Does the snake get an attack of opportunity? Yeah, he probably will, but uh, Sparkle Gem gets it first. All right. His dinner's leaving. Do we get the plus? Do we get the plus four and the one d four on this? You get the d four on your. On your attack, and then your attack is whatever your normal attack is with that weapon. So, yours okay. is your rapier is plus three that's on your hit. So you do your d twenty plus three, and then roll another d four to add to it. 
8 plus 3 is 11, plus the d4 of 3 is 13, or 14. 14 hits. Roll me damage. 1d8 plus 1. So he would have, oh, geez, that was a weird three. thing that just happened to that guy. So he had three plus at a time. He was in range of an attacker, so you get your D6 sneak attack damage. Oh, that too. Yep, yeah. so three plus, roll me D6. Three plus Five. eight. Hurts him a lot as he attempts to run out of the bar and after standing up, which means he used half his movement to get up. So if he was dashing, even if he's dashing, it's 60 minus half, 30. Plus the snake gets an attack of opportunity on him. My God, you guys. Finding a giant snake happening to be outside seemed to be like a very, very good <laughs> thing for you. His bite is plus six to hit. Jesus. <laughs> is that is that Twenty what that, that hits? Called, God, Walt. What is it? <laughs> A hashtag Papa Bear, hashtag blessed. blessed. <laughs> so it is a uh, plus six is 20, hits the guy. His hit is a d4 plus four, six damage, and his 3d poison damage, six damage plus a lot more than he had health left. As the giant snake bites yet another victim to death. Yes. Oh, because it's four plus nine thirteen minus yeah. He super dies at the hands of the snake. <laughs> Leaving oh wait, and he was red brand ruffian. Eight. Number eight, you're also dead. And then uh Pubert, you're up. You're in a room with one man. Who's your enemy alive? Wait, this one your guy? friends and a bartender. Oh, yeah, no, I'll mark him. I'll mark him. He's super dead. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of tempted how I want to handle this. Da, 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 is, he, is, is he ready to, like, fight, or does he look kind of nervous? Would you like to use your interaction to petition for their surrender? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. He is bleeding profusely. It's, it's a lot, and he does not look healthy. He, if you attacked him, he does not seem like he would survive. I think I'll hold my sword up to him and said, say, uh, you hurt the lady. <laughs> no, no fighting, fighting in the bar. <laughs> so you intimidate him? Yeah, let's go with an intimidate. Trying, right. to, uh, trying to get him to stop. Alright, you'll have advantage because of it. Poisoned nature. So go ahead and give me a... I'm sure it'll work out here. 14 plus a d6. 19 plus... Or d4, I mean. Uh, and no bless on this one. Uh, yeah, it would have been a d4, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're 19 no bless plus on this. or 4. Yeah, I think that's a 20... Uh, it's, a, it's an ability uh, check. It doesn't count for bless. Rolls and saves. No checks. Oh, checks all right, different. all right, fine. Then we'll just have to go with the oh. regular old 19. So you take the 19 and the you take his plus 3 charisma. So yeah, that's a, that's a 22. The extremely drunk and injured man surrounded by his dead friends and a giant spirit bear and also witnessed a huge <laughs> snake and then his friend vomit up a chair decides I'm going to surrender. <laughs> Drops his weapon. So we're out of combat. Would you like to... Uh, okay, the first thing I do is I collect... This person. I collect all of the, the, the remaining uh, poison and I put it back in its original container. Okay, you have... Scooping that in. Yep. You have four charges left in that bottle. And then I go talk to the bartender and I say, can I get a bit of a discount? You overcharged me by about 20 gold. Okay, we'll pause on that. How's everybody else acting? <laughs> So I want to grab the guy who uh, who just surrendered. I want to grab him by the scruff of the collar and get up in his face and say, talk, while you still have a jaw. Yes. You, all right. You, uh, you Anybody else? Him at all so he doesn't die during that? Hey, he's, just, he's where he's at. He's, he's not dead. He's not going to die. Hit points. But he is going to throw up Hit another... Hit points are oh, weird, wait. right? 
Yeah. Hit points are weird. So. Which which one of these is the leader again? The dead the one. Super dead one <laughs> outside. This, Everybody that the one. snake bit is dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as the snake successfully bit someone, they died from the poison. Could someone please ask the snake to not bite me? Um, the snake Snake's is kind of like helping me. Snake's waiting for food. I, yeah. Maybe you want to feed him something. I'm going. There's plenty to. of corpses. I don't have any jerky. I never had any jerky. I have plenty of jerky. Uh, I. Does, does Sparkle Gem still have any jerky? Because no. are, are we out of combat? Sparkle Gem was yeah. given a little bit. You guys bit are out of combat. You kind of like talk about every bit of it. But you guys are out of so combat. Can what is... <laughs> you guys can I... Go on. I, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys um, are out of combat. I was asking kind of what everybody wants to do. So, like, I know Pubier's, like, got the guy by the guy talk before it's over. And Jerk's mostly concerned with his money that he gave to the bartender. Anybody else? I would like to... Um, I want to ask Jerk if I can have the mouse... <laughs> Yeah, the mouse body. I give, him, I, I give him the mouse. You give yeah. him Guts's body. Yeah, oh, it's not doing me any good. That's a that's a gesture on Jurek's part. Okay, right. so I say that I I appreciate it, my friend. This the snake definitely earned it. I also start uh, looting the corpses. That's what I was about to do yes, while you were I, busy I, getting I, your gold. I would like to investigate the leader. Okay. All right. Who's uh, dead? So let me just. Let me think about those. All right, so giving the snake a wide berth. <laughs> so first thing, uh, first things first is Jerk turns to the bartender and says, "You owe me a discount or a refund. I overpaid for my drinks." She looks at you and says, "You bought drinks for the whole evening. You all can drink all night if you want, as long as you get these bodies out of my bar." I paid you twenty-two guy, gold, lady. The guy who. The guy who uh, surrendered and is bleeding and injured, not feeling well, just as as you say, talk or else he's just kind of shaking. He's like, "Whatever you want to know, just don't kill me." So, uh, and Hugh Bear is gonna kind of get this look on his face, like just he's gonna break the whole that, Batman that thing, and he's gonna kind of like, guys, <laughs> what, what are we gonna, gonna ask? Well, I think we should sit him down. I grab him another drink for the bartender, since apparently I I spent all my money on drinks for the night, and I I, I bring it over to him as he's being held up by Pubert, and I, I hand it to him. Is this glowing giant bear still sitting in the center of the? No, table? I think it would. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a ten rounds thing, so. Uh, so I'm gonna okay. dispel it. So we kind of like made it through the rounds, but you still have like a. Couple of seconds okay. on it, and that disappears. Okay, yeah. so giant, yeah. giant glowing bear is gone. Okay, yeah. all can temporary hit points go away. Can I tell yeah. the bartender she owes me for the nice chair? Uh, oh, hold on. So, Talison came over and was like, "Hey, man, could I get that mouse body from you?" And you were like. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, here, man. So you like turn to him, you give him the mouse body. Yeah. I'm assuming Talison like goes but, outside and tosses it. Yeah, tosses I want to say, I, snake. I think, I think you, I think you, my friend, the snake definitely earned it. And I was gonna go over to the snake and kind of kneel down and say, like, I appreciate your help this this day, my friend. Here is the food as promised, and if you um, if you would be willing to stay with me, I will make sure that you are always fed. Oh, okay. So you're trying to persuade the snake to stay with you? I'm trying to get a pet, man. I'm trying <laughs> to get right. some right. You're trying to... All right, roll me a persuasion. I'm going to say it's going to be hard, but... Maybe Am I still blessed or no? How long's blessed? That's also a ten round thing. So we'll say it's at the end of this. Roll it. Roll it with your. Roll with your bless. It's gonna. Also, gonna it's it's hard. So you're gonna have to beat a d twenty. Still on. don't. Uh, still don't get bless on checks though. Oh yeah. So you don't. So just roll. Oh, it. You're gonna have to beat a twenty. On hang persuasion. 
Okay. That's a nine. All right. Can the, I use the my snake... inspiration for him? Wait, you're what? Can I use my inspiration to give him another chance? Do you want the snake to stay? You don't have inspiration. I do too. It's on my sheet. No, you don't. I think I got it for that D20 roll last time. In the perfect time. Oh, it's originally last that round, and that means I didn't go through and clear yours out from the time before. I'm sorry. Mm. That's my fault for not doing the thing, so technically I should allow it. In the interest of moving things along. Yeah, just go ahead, do it with advantage then, Talison. One more roll, try and be 20. Uh, 13. So, so the snake chomps up on the mouse that you toss him, swallows it really quick, and says, I want bigger food, and takes Red Brand Ruffian number seven <laughs> along with him. He actually just which, grabs it by the one? neck. Enough ruffian number seven and just drags the body off with him <laughs> and takes it away. Aw, uh, but I want the snake pet, dude. I'm sorry. Should have offered him bigger I want, food. I mean, he wanted bigger food and he helped out a lot here. Uh, I was, know. That was well, that's very, why I, this was very advantageous. I wouldn't be sad about all the advantage you got. I will no, I'm I'm glad that the snake helped us, but I mean and I even offered for him to eat the leader. Right? I just... And I did a sweet Harry Potter quote. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't recognize it because it was a Harry Potter guy. Uh but uh shit. I'm gonna have to roll like what you randomly collect off the Red Brand Ruffian and some of these other guys. Uh but as far as, as your your situation in the bar goes. Grista says, now you paid for this drinks. And she's offering you basically as much as you want to drink for the rest of the evening. The red brand ruffian is, is willing to tell you pretty much anything you ask. And if you guys want to like figure out what you want to ask him, I can go ahead and start rolling on random tables for your, uh, your finds on these guys. Cause that is a thing I gotta do. <laughs> well, we, do we want to save that for next time? Cause I know it's, getting kind of late for what are people's thoughts right now um, I was going to say I should um, we could probably save it for next time um, and I'm going to go try and talk to that snake again and be like what up snake come on. <laughs> what up snake come back you got a nice wiggle to you baby yeah dude uh, maybe we can convince him to uh like we, he can eat all of these bodies. <laughs> he just That's he did we'll take one. Just be our personal corpse disposer. <laughs> yeah, corpse disposal snake. Right. I'm surprised and there was a giant poisonous snake in here in the first place, and that you <laughs> rolled successfully to persuade him to help you, you know. and <laughs> that he also attacked all of these other people. I'm sorry. This is fucking great. Like, yeah, that was it. awesome. I thought I was. I thought I was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be my last session. Right, like Jerk is gonna die and be rolling a new character right off the bat. I got a giant poisonous snake to help, and it fucking one shotted two people. Yeah. When it hits, it does insane amount of damage. I know. Why do you think I want it to be my pet? Dude, hell yeah! <laughs> like, well, my question is: Is I there totally a DC that understand. like? So, uh, if you go, so tell us, you go, to you can go creatures, manage creatures, add beast companion. You can type in giant poisonous snake and have it stats ready all the time. Yeah, if that happens, but it didn't happen. Not yet. Yeah, but you know, so I mean, you've also met a dire wolf that like didn't attack and kill you when it was kind of been trained so things have been going well for you with animals i'm just gonna throw that out there yeah uh, but hey uh you guys definitely successfully encounter the red brands and their mm -hmm. terrible uh <laughs> their terrible rolls against you you guys like cleared this place out shit i guess i could have like rolled animal handling to see if i could tame it but hey matt snake i like tame. it I don't like this. All right, well, um, so it's a good place to end for the evening. Then we'll like give me a chance to like get out the tables and do the random rolls for your stuff, or do you want me to do that right now? No, I, would I can say wait. 
we can wait okay, till next, wait. next week. Right. And maybe next week I will see if that giant snake's still there. Yeah, maybe he's in the neighborhood. Maybe he lives in Fandolin. I mean, if <laughs> I was a huge is Kyle. Snake, I probably wouldn't um, really be that worried about anybody. Did you actually give him a name already? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna not gonna be around next week. Do you wanna do you wanna play uh, jerk? Yeah. Uh, send me anything you want to um, have him focus or play like, eh. and I'll handle that. All right. Nice. Well, good job, guys. Uh, good game today. You guys. Uh, yeah. S- j- jerk. Ma- jerk managed to get himself into some trouble, and you guys managed to get him out. So. You've uh, also kicked the ass of some of the town bullies. <laughs> yeah, the what? six down, or no, five down. Um, yeah, one ran off. 15 one ran go. off, and the snake yeah. ate one. Snake ate yep. two. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the snake straight up ate one. He took it off, yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. So, right. well, I'm hell gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw the stream off to the end. Say goodnight to the internet. Good night, yeah. Good night, internet. Be safe.